feel for that good curveball. Ike and I will see you after the game. We'll break it all down for you. But Don and Jerry have the call as Dave Roberts and Barry Bonds are at Fenway Park for a weekend series between the Giants and Sox. Barry Bonds and his 747 home runs are here for Bonds. This is his first visit ever to Fenway Park. Barry Zito makes his 14th career start against the Red Sox. First time he's done it in a Giants uniform. It's the Red Sox and Giants in the first of three. Hi again, everybody. I'm Don Orsillo. Welcome to Red Sox baseball. The San Francisco Giants are here, a team that is eight games back of the San Diego Padres in the National League West. They've pitched very well this season. They're third in pitching in the National League. It's the offense that has certainly struggled so far for Bruce Bochy's bunch who come into Fenway Park. They are 10th right now in batting average, hitting at 253 as a team, tied for 11th in RBIs. Home runs, they've only got 52. Barry Bonds and Pedro Police have 21 of those, the rest of the team with 31, and they've been shut out already six times this season as they come in struggling offensively. We welcome in Jerry Remy and to Jerry Barry Bonds in Boston for the first time. Well he's already caused a reaction Don you know even the more than when A-Rod comes to town as soon as he stuck his head out of the dugout there were boos in batting practice then he hits a home run in each year for him so it's going to be a very interesting weekend but no question you're watching one of the best players of all time. Now the skills aren't quite the same as they were years ago but incredible numbers for him. We know about the home run chase. He's the only player in Major League history with 500 home runs and 500 stolen bases that's just remarkable feat seven time MVP eight gold gloves it goes on and on I mean when Barry Bonds was in his prime he was by far the best player in baseball and unfortunately for him now he's got the cloud hanging over his head and this home run chase is not exciting for a lot of people Hank Aaron is not going to be there the commission doesn't know what to do I think that's a shame for baseball but it's uh, it's Barry Bonds and this was followed him around his whole career but Red Sox fans this weekend will have the chance to react to him uh, in one way or the other you either love him or you hate him but it's going to be fun when we come back Dave Roberts returns to Fenway Park and be leading off his stolen base will live in Red Sox fans memories forever the runner goes the pitch high the throw the tag safe that's exactly why Roberts was in the game he steals second with nobody out in my opinion that was the number one biggest play when he stole second base if he doesn't steal that we're going home Nobody out. Off the middle, base hit. Roberts rounding third, waved in. Bernie Williams throwing home. It's cut off, and the game is tied. The Red Sox tie it in the bottom of the ninth. Getting nickel and dime by your bank can crank up your blood pressure like a playoff game in New York. But with free interest checking from Sovereign Bank, there's no minimum balance to worry about. You get paid interest too, and you can use any bank's ATM in the country free. As far as this stock's concerned, Sovereign Free Interest Checking is the hardest working account in the nation. <clears throat> Ford F-150. We're sorry, you can't match Dodge Ram 1500's available 345 horsepower Hemi V8 and Chevy, Toyota, we're sorry Ram Mega Cab is bigger and roomier than your Silverado and Tundra. And since Ram is the longest lasting, most durable family of full size trucks, we'll be apologizing to the competition for a long, long time. Biggest, baddest, boldest. See the New England Dodge dealers for a test drive today. Talking to the cable guy, pal? Actually, he's a Verizon Fios tech. It brings fiber optics right to your door on three different spectrums of light. You got your 1310, your 1490, and the 1550. The light is so clean, it's plus 20 dB hot. It's true quam. You should see his truck. Verizon Fios, the most advanced fiber option. Clear Panasonic motion. Panasonic Plasma for the speed of sports. Panasonic, ideas for life. Closed captioning provided by Finagle and Bagel, Austin's best sandwich soup, salad, and of course, Bagel Cafe, with 20 locations at Eastern Mass. 
Back at Fenway Park where Dave Roberts heads to the on deck circle to get ready for his first at bat back. Terry we have seen Kevin Millar come back. We've seen the Orlando Cabrera come back. Johnny Damon's reception not what these guys had before but it should be outstanding here tonight for the great Dave Roberts. Well you would think so Don because that one stolen base is the one that uh, kept the Red Sox alive and of course the rest was history after that. So uh, one of the great moments in Red Sox history. This uh, last fall the Red Sox Hall of Fame dinner he was honored for the moment and what a moment it was and certainly for him to come back he was thrilled to be back in Boston and recognized in the Red Sox Hall of Fame ceremony. You heard off the top Terry Francona saying it was the greatest moment of his baseball career. And they only joked before the game tonight that had he not been safe it might not have been the greatest moment in his uh, baseball career but uh, Roberts is back and about to make his way to the batter's box for the first time returning to Fenway Park in a Giants uniform. Tim Flannery leading off for the Giants. The center fielder number 10, Dave Roberts. Dave Roberts will try to be comfortable as he gets ready for the first pitch of this one and it's inside from Tavares. Roberts this season who spent time on the disabled list for San Francisco hits at 216 with two homers and six runs batted in. And the strike evens it counted one and one. You know when you think Don about Dave Roberts he came to the Red Sox uh, from being an everyday player to a backup player with Boston never complained about his role did everything he possibly could do to try to help the team win and of course well we're well aware of what the fans think about him on the ground right side and in the right field a base hit so Roberts aboard with a single well placed to the right side. Roberts gets the fastball from Julian Tavares. He hooks it. He hooks it right past the Dustin Pedroia for the leadoff base hit. And even though Roberts has not played very much, he still has 10 steals on the season. Well, tonight's starting pitcher is brought to you by Panasonic for the Red Sox. Julian Tavares, unbeaten in his last five starts, going 2-0 and in that span with a 3.90. No decision last time out against Arizona. That's a game the Red Sox won 4-3. In his career against the Giants in 13 games and two starts, a two and three record. Mike Sweeney, the batter. A strike and a snap throw to first, trying to keep Roberts honest as Veritek throws in behind Sweeney. Figuring that Dave Roberts may be anxious to steal another base. Veritek throwing behind that left handed hitter, trying to pick him off. Roberts with a good size lead now at first base. And Tavares will check on him. It's interesting in listening to him speak at the Hall of Fame dinner talking about Maury Wills and saying that there's going to be one time in your career where you're going to have a chance to step up uh, something that will leave you in the memory of people forever and if you can step up in that chance and get it done. Then you've really done something, and he was absolutely right. That moment came up in a huge moment for Dave Roberts, one that he hears about every day wherever he goes. It says he hears from people in Red Sox Nation at different ballparks. And it's something that uh, will be with him forever. And Sweeney hits it deep and far to right, down the line, towards the corner, and wraps off the wall. And he's going to roll around a while. Roberts coming around from first base. He will score on the double by Mark Sweeney. The Giants on top already, one to nothing. 
Now Sweeney gets the slider from uh, Julian Tavares and just missed the home run down that right field line. It's going to hit it on the wall and then bounce past J.D. Drew. No problem for Roberts to score. And Sweeney ends up at second base. Uh, I thought he was going to go to third base on that, but with nobody out, didn't want to be thrown out at third and just stayed at second. Roberts coming all the way around to score the first run of the ball game, so that didn't take long for the Giants to get on the board. Well, we talk about their offensive struggles, and here they go. A single and a double and already a run. There is Randy Wynn, the former Tampa Bay Devil Ray, Seattle Mariner, fouls off the bunt bit at the plate. Uh, right now, Randy Wynn is on a nine-game hitting streak, the 307 batting average. Sweeney at second base. Lugo trying to keep him close, standing in behind him. Randy Wynn hitting at 325 over the last 54 games. He comes in hitting at 307 on the season. Five homers and 21 runs batted in. Swing and a miss. He's down 0 and 2. Say one thing, there are quite a few San Francisco Giants fans here at Fenway Park. Of course, the Giants have never been here, and I imagine a lot of people from the Bay Area somehow got tickets to this game. Yeah, we're going to make one Giants series this year. The first visit ever to Fenway Park is pretty cool, and a lot of their fans took advantage of that situation. You're right, I'm not sure how they got the tickets. The Red Sox sold out every game. The right side, Pedroia stepped to his right, and there's the first out. As Sweeney moves on to third base. Here comes Barry Bonds, first time ever in Boston. Welcome to Boston Barry Bonds from one end of the spectrum to the other from Dave Roberts to Barry Bonds we kind of figured both would be like that here tonight and the Red Sox electing at least for now not to walk Barry Bonds with first base open. So we're trying to say before the game the situation would dictate each time. He walked him a few times when the Red Sox faced him at San Francisco a few years ago. A swing and a miss, and each one of those will be met with cheers here at Fenway. He has faced Tavares uh, four times. He is 0 for 4 in his career against Julian Tavares. He's here as part of the All Star crew in '99, but was injured. And this is his first game at Fenway Park. He was walking around the outfield a good bit, checking it all out during batting practice. And Jerry had seen the reception for him during batting practice a little bit mixed. He did have some cheers and some boos, but no question about him coming to bat this time. All boos as he stepped in. And it was kind of a strange scene during batting practice. Bonds hits it down the right field line towards the pole. Will it stay fair? No. A foul ball, according to Charlie Relliford. Bonds thought he had it. It looks like Rose Bochy, the, ump, uh, for, uh, the manager, is going to come out and question that call by Relliford. We don't have the best look in the world, but I'll tell you what, it was tough to tell down the right field line. Yeah, our angle here behind home plate when a ball sit down toward pesky pole is very difficult to tell. He thought he had 748. Julian trying to help it foul. And he did just enough. The 
This Bochy heading back to the Giants dugout. Bonds now the count of two and two. Sitting on 747. That's with Sweeney 90 feet away at third base. And the 2 2 pitch. Bonds not chasing. It's a full count. This is the 40th ballpark that he's played in during his career, making his Fenway Park debut tonight. Bonds pops it up. Shallow right. Pedroia headed out. He'll make the catch, tagging, bluffing at third base with Sweeney. The throw in would have gotten him. So Sweeney stays at third, and there's two down. Let's check out the rest of the Giants starting nine brought to you by Rico. Bonds just batted. He's the DH with Ray Durham at second base. Benji Molina does the catching. Pedro Felice at third base with Nate Sherholtz in right field. Omar Vizquel, the Gold Glove shortstop. That's ninth for the San Francisco Giants squad. And Molina's got great numbers against the Red Sox. Of course, so done with the Angels and the Blue Jays. But here tonight with the Giants, they get Bonds first time around here at Fenway Park. After he thought he homered a very close play down that right field line. Here is Ray Durham. 250 six homers and 37 runs batted in. And he started 12 in the last 13 games. After missing four games with a mild stomach strain. It was 10 for his last 47 at 213 over the last 13 games. Durham here with a runner at third base and two down. Hits at 345 with two outs. The runners in scoring position. And Sweeney doubled in the game's first run. In the dirt, kicks away from Veritek. Sweeney's going to try it and he's going to get in. The Giants take a 2 0 lead on a pitch that gets away. Now Tavares tries to snap off the breaking ball and bounces, deflects away from Veritek. And Sweeney comes around to score. Veritek trying to block that ball, but it caroms right off the glove, off to his left, and certainly far enough for the run to come home. Wild pitch charged to Tavares. And a 2 nothing Giants lead. 2-1 the count to Ray Durham. There is Benji Molina. Certainly familiar with Red Sox pitching. Ball four and Durham down to first base. First walk given up by Tavares. The Red Sox defense is brought to you by a Boston area Lexus dealers tonight. Mike Lowell will be at third base. Julio Lugo the shortstop. Dustin Pedroia at second and Kevin Euclid at first. Left to right Manny Ramirez Coco Crisp and J.D. Drew. And Jason Veritek doing the catching. Tony Randazzo has a play tonight for the umpires. Charlie Relaford at first base. Greg Gibson at second base. And Larry Van Over is the umpire at third. So two down, two runs in for the Giants. And here's Benji Molina. Yeah, you're right, Don. Benji Molina has always been a thorn in the side of the Red Sox offensively, whether it be with the Angels or the Toronto Blue Jays. Like second among National League catchers in average this season at 304. And then Russell Martin of the Dodgers, who hits a 305 to lead all catchers in the NL. And a swing and a miss for Molina, and it's one and one. Two time gold glove winning catcher signed a three year deal here with the San Francisco Giants. And after spending just the one season in Toronto. And last year ended up with 19 homers, 57 runs batted in with the Blue Jays. Runs a 1 1 left side to Lugo. 
The Giants gather a pair in the first inning. The Red Sox coming up. Flying to Philadelphia for business? If these 12 reasons don't convince you to fly Southwest Airlines nonstop to Philadelphia, maybe this will. You can fly from Manchester or Providence for just $29 one way. You are now free to move about the country. It's match point here in the finals of the World Championships. Yang and Lau, two giants of the game facing two giants. David Ortiz and Brian Erlacher always liked the Game of Kings, were having a couple of vitamin water power C's packed with vitamin C and taurine, and Ortiz said, let's try it, baby. Yang and Lau, both well back, reluctant to play the net. Yang, psychologically broken. Let's go to that replay. Embarrassing. Yang serves. Erlacher returns. Yang on his... Ortiz is a powerful smash, and that will do it! Wait, Lau is down. No, he's injured. The shuttlecock is lodged in Lau's leg in an eerie repeat of the quarterfinals against Olofsson and Jensen. Vitamin water. Try it. The Oral-B experts know nothing replaces flossing, but what if you could get some of the benefits of flossing from a toothbrush? Oral-B Advantage Glide. Unique glide bristles go up to 35% deeper between teeth for a thorough clean. Oral-B, brush like a dentist. To someone at Ford, it's the insane idea to test the edge crossover zero to 60 against the BMW X5. BMW X5. It's fast. Scary fast, but get this, the edge wins. The edge beats the BMW. It beats the BMW by 0.2 seconds. Is that a lot? It's plenty. Do Germans count in seconds? They count in Germany, but the edge still wins. True story? True story. Spirit of a sports car, versatility of an SUV, the all-new edge. Boston Red Sox baseball in Nesson is brought to you by Southwest Airlines, the New England Subaru dealers, Foxwoods Resort Casino, Kia, Aflac, Coors Light, Rico, and by New England Toyota dealers. Last half of the first inning, Red Sox trailing two to nothing right out of the gate tonight. And for the second straight night, J.D. Drew atop the Red Sox order. Facing Barry Zito. Drew got hit on the arm. And he'll head down to first base. So lead runner on tonight for the Red Sox. Zito trying to go inside with the fastball and just gets a top of the uniform of a J.D. Drew. Zito is 6-6 six and six on the season, but over the last four starts, 3-1, with a 1.50 ERA in his career against Boston, five and five across all those games coming with the Oakland Athletics. Starting pitcher brought to you by Panasonic. JD Drew had been 0 for 5 from the top spot last night, reaching here in the first inning, hit by a pitch. There's Dustin Bedroya. The team that's given Zito some problems is his, uh, his old, old ball club, the Oakland yeah. Athletics, twice. Pedro hit 311 to begin tonight's action. Two homers, 16 runs batted in. Drives it to deep left field. Win back, looking up, just like that, tied it too. Red Sox answer quickly in the bottom of the first. Dustin's third round tripper of the season. Now Zito's fastball is only about to 85 to 88 miles an hour. He gets the fastball hit at Pedroia up about letter high and Pedroia finds the monster seats. Almost tripped over his back when he dropped it. Those who have watched Barry Zito know that he has the fastball, which is not overpowering, a tremendous curveball. The changeup and a cut fastball. Swing and a miss for Big Poppy, and it's one and one. 
50 at bats in between home runs for Pedroia. Last home run came on May 27th at Texas. And that was the long exchange with uh, Eric Gagne in Texas, the 12 pitch at bat, which he finally took out. And strike to Ortiz over the outside corner has him looking back at Tony Randazzo. Now back to back cutters or sliders, whatever you want to call it, and both to the outside corner to David Ortiz. The key matchup is brought to you by Molson. David Ortiz against Barry Zito at 417. A couple of home runs. Well, nice to see the Red Sox offense right out of the gate tonight, which has been stagnant lately for Boston. Just that uh, one outpouring of runs, the first game of the series against Arizona, where they scored 10 runs, 12 hits. Other than that, it's an offense that is too good to be kept quiet with any kind of regularity. Strike three call. Big Poppy doesn't like it at all. Yeah, he better be careful. He thought it was inside, maybe even high. It was hard to tell for me if that was a fastball or a changeup from Zito. I thought the reading was about 83, which would lead me to believe it might have been a changeup. Certainly wasn't too high, and if it had the inside corner, it's a strike. He may have just tossed him. Here comes Terry Francona. His helmet came back. I don't know if he dropped it on the way to the dugout or if he fired it out of the dugout, but his helmet's about halfway to first base. Now if that's the case, he might have been thrown out for throwing his equipment. There's no other reason for Francona to be out there right now. I don't know if he dropped it on the way back to the dugout or whether he fired it out of the dugout. I doubt that's a location he would have dropped it, Don. That was pretty close to the first baseline. Well, this would be a tough loss right now for the Red Sox if Ortiz is indeed done for the night. It looks like he is. Actually, that was a fastball from Zito that uh, that picked up the strikeout and made it the end of the night for Ortiz. Now, as he heads back to the dugout, takes the bat and the helmet and flips it, and he must have got thrown out right away. Yep, he did. It's almost like he was waiting for it, didn't it, Rendazzo? After having the discussion at home plate with him, and he just watched them all the way back to the dugout. When David flipped the uh, helmet and the bat, out he goes. Well, Terry, better be careful now. Charlie Relliford getting heated. Well, Francona doesn't have to name a new DH until the next time that spot comes around in the batting order. Whoever that name will be will not be able to replace David Ortiz in the bat of David Ortiz. So a great loss here for the Red Sox in the first. Here's Manny with one out, bases empty, and he takes ball one. There is a 293, eight homers and 34 runs batted in. It was three for nine in the series against the Rockies. It's a high fly ball to center. Dave Roberts. Two down. Let's check out the Red Sox starting lineup brought to you by New England Dodge Dealers. Now Ortiz out. We'll have to wait and see who the DH should be the rest of the game. Ramirez in left. Devin Euclid at first base. Mike Lowell at third base with Jason Veritek doing the catching. Coco Chris out in center field. Bats eighth and Julio Lugo bats ninth at shortstop. Here's Kevin Euclid batting in the number five spot again tonight for Boston. Sits safely now in five straight games. So it's a 335 batting average, eight homers, and 33 runs batted in. The seventh in the American League to begin the ball game tonight with that 335 batting average. Ortiz right in behind him at 333 to start the night. The league leader in batting average, still Maglio Ordonez. 
setting the pace at 367 in the American League. There's Mike Lowell waiting on deck. And on the ground at Vizquel. The gold glove shortstop. That'll do the inning, but Pedroia's two-run shot has tied the game at two. Done with one from Fenway. There is a rhythm of the seasons, so we've developed styles of beer to accompany that. We brew Oktoberfest, Winter Lager, White Ale, and right now, there's Summer Ale. Samuel Adams Summer Ale is a flavorful wheat beer. It has a very nice spice note. It has little lemon zest and a historic brewing spice called Grains of Paradise. It's citrusy. Lemon flavorful, refreshing. Wow, Sam Adams Summer Ale, it's just something about it. It's like, totally reminds you of Summer Ale. <laughs> I am your idea. Color me. Get me noticed. Make me shout. And stand out. Give me Rico color. That always works. I am your idea. Make me brighter. Make me shine. I am your idea. Get me in there. Make it happen. In flying colors. It's you and me, and here we go. With Rico. No matter where you buy your gas, it can be a painful experience or a delightfully rare occurrence. It's all in the choice of car you drive. Honda, the most fuel-efficient auto company in America. Lease a 2007 Honda Accord for $199 a month for well-qualified customers. Janet is so lame. Totally lame. She only brings McDonald's to bribe people to do her work. Ridiculous. Probably get started on Janet's invoices, huh? No. The only thing better than a sausage McMuffin with egg? Two of them for just three bucks. Pedro Feliz leads it off as we head to the second inning. Grounds one foul outside of third base. A little 2 2 game here now into the second inning. Plenty of action in the early going. Bonds almost hitting a home run. Pedroia hitting a home run, and Ortiz getting thrown out of the ball game. Sixth time that David Ortiz has been ejected. Third time that it's happened in a Red Sox uniform. Pedro Feliz, fifth in the National League third baseman, 29 RBIs in eight home runs. Grounds it left side. Lugo to the backhand. Tough hop, but he picked it. And he throws him out for the first out of the second inning. Where available, this telecast can be heard in Spanish by selecting the SAP button on your television remote. Enjoy the game. Buenas noches, amigos. Well, after some tough weather here in Boston over the last three or four days at Fenway Park with the wind blowing in, just a beautiful night tonight at Fenway. Yeah, this is just about perfect for the fans, for the players, everybody. Very light breeze. 61 degrees and nine miles per hour from right, not from center, which is what we've had the last couple of games. Here's Nate Scherholtz, the right fielder, is three for eight since his call up. No homers, no runs batted in. I don't think I've ever seen a breeze here in from right field, Doc. <laughs> no, huh? I'm quite honest with you. Holtz was recalled from Fresno right of Monday night's game against the Toronto Blue Jays. Giants are coming from home where they played the Blue Jays. First time Sherholtz has been on a 25 major league roster. And his first major league hit on Tuesday night against the Blue Jays. Singled in his first career plate appearance. Got it right out of the way. Facing A.J. Burnett. Two and two. Giants able to take two out of three from the Blue Jays and have dropped seven of their last 12 games. Some tight games. Been a lot of one run contests so far in the season. Line 
line down the right field line a foul ball. And we'll do it again with a count of two and two. Sherholtz will have to come on back. So opens up a six game two city road trip for the Giants beginning tonight. Tomorrow and then on Sunday they will then travel to Milwaukee with the Brewers Monday through Wednesday. They've lost 15 of their last 23 games on the road. And Bruce Bochy in his first season at the helm of the Giants after all those years with the Padres. Looking his way to Northern California. With uh, Bud Black now, the manager of the Padres, who we'll see next week as part of the next road trip for the Red Sox. They are eight games back of the Padres in the National League West. Which is a pretty tight race. And of course, we just saw the Colorado Rockies come into Fenway and take two out of three. Foul tipped, held on to by Baratek. First strike out of the night for Julian. Two down. Looks like the change up from Tavares to pick up his first strikeout. As it goes down and away from Sherholtz. You know, it's interesting, Don. We're seeing a lot of these teams Arizona, Colorado, San Francisco. National League teams, but you don't even see them in spring training because, of course, they train out west. So it's uh, it's not like you played a couple of games against some of these guys down in Florida. This is all new. And to be honest, I'm glad that the Tori Elbas and the Tulowitzkis who are <laughs> fine players. I I know. I, I'm noticing it's an easier time with this lineup. <laughs> Boy, I'm sure they're great guys and fine players, but. Uh, Glad to see him go. It was a tough couple of days. The center field, Chris is there. And it's a 1 2 3 second inning for Tavares. Tying a two from Fenway. There were two options change the road or change the SUV. Introducing the Acura MDX with super handling all wheel drive. Technology takes it to a whole new place. Acura. Advance. This summer, there have been 56 deaths in 1408. Do not stay in that room. One movie will twist reality, confirm your fears, and keep you, what do you want from me? on the edge of your seat. On June 22nd, Open it! I'm gonna die. You will believe in the existence of the other side. Daddy, don't you love me? 1408, ready PG 13. I've got it. We've got it. We've got it. Got what? Health insurance. Massachusetts residents are now required to have it. And the state's health connector makes it more affordable and easier to get. I've got it. Me too. Call or go to our website to compare plans, get information, and choose the right plan for you. Get preventive care and medical and financial protection. I'm getting it. I've used it. We've, We've got, got it. it. Get health insurance now through the state's health connector. Last year, 372,000 Massachusetts residents went without insurance. We're Network Health, and we think that's wrong. Introducing Network Health Forward, a product of Commonwealth Care. It's high-quality, low-cost health coverage for people like you. You're covered for checkups, prescriptions, hospital stays, and more. Take a step forward. See if you're eligible. Call 888-257-1985 or visit network-health.org. Get what's coming to you. Network Health Forward, a product of Commonwealth Care. 2-2 ball game as we head to the last half of the second inning. It's Lowell, Veritek, and Crisp. Fittis Barry Zito. As Lowell gets the hands out of the way and takes ball one. A two-run shot in the first for Dustin Pedroia as he's tied 2-2. Lowell hitting 316, 12 homers. And now 49 runs batted in on the season for the Red Sox third baseman. Lowell starting the night. Sixth in the American League in RBIs. Top spot belongs to A-Rod with a 68 on the year. Well, one RBI behind uh, last year's American League MVP, Justin Morneau. Strike three call. Lowell disagrees. Tony Randazzo's already in a bad mood tonight as Lowell 
And more words for him as he walks away. Well, it took a long time to make that call. And, you know, with the Barry Zito curveball, you have to wait a long time because it breaks so much. It starts out high and it finishes low. And watch how long it takes Rondazzo to call this. Lowell obviously thinking the ball was too low. So one down brings up Jason Veritek. Check it 275 with seven homers and 31 runs batted in. Sit safely in five of his last six games. And it was three for six in the series against the Rockies. In case you missed it, the Boston Bruins announced today that the club has relieved head coach Dave Lewis and associate coach Mark Habshai of their coaching duties. And we assign them with other positions within the organization. Stay tuned to Nesson for Sports Desk and Hazel May. We'll bring you all the details tonight. As Dave Lewis out as the head coach of the Boston Bruins. Well, it seemed that seems a little strange. Uh, it you, does. You think something like that might happen right after the season's over? Well, it's not all that long until the Stanley Cup was over. But you're right. I mean, you figure you get through the season. It was a very difficult season for the Boston Bruins, but you figured they might do it right at the end. What did he last? One year. One year. So a bit of a surprise tonight, but uh, stay tuned for Sports Desk with all the details. Hazel and May will fill you in on everything. Is your name in the mix, Don, to become maybe the head coach of the Bruins? I don't think so. No. But you can still wear suits, you know. Those guys wear suits behind they, the bench. They have very nice suits. Michael Chris batting with two outs here in the second inning. Batting eighth in the Red Sox order tonight, number nine man, Julio Lugo. Waits in behind him with two outs here in the second. Well, there's a walk for Chris. First walk of the night, given up by Zito. Covidian is a proud sponsor of the Boston Red Sox and the Red Sox Foundation, helping to raise money for life saving cancer research. Coco's aboard with two down and it brings up Julio Lugo. He's hitting a 212 four homers and 34 runs batted in for Lugo. It was just five for his last 38. And just two hits in the series against the Rockies and 11 at bats. Kind of lost his spot near the top of the Red Sox order. Strike over the inside corner, one and one. He led off for the Red Sox 56 games before moving to the number nine spot. Third time that he has batted ninth now. Ground foul. The Red Sox and the Red Sox Foundation would like to thank those who have participated in the Green Monster ticket auction for tomorrow's game against the Giants. The foundation will benefit from the record amount of nearly $260,000, the most money raised in a team auction in history. So, once again, a huge thanks to all of you who helped benefit the Red Sox Foundation with the Green Monster auction. And uh, Catherine Tappan will be up there tomorrow to greet and meet uh, some of the folks, and I'll also be there. To say hello to the folks and sign autographs prior to the game against the Giants. Hugo fouls it off to the right. You know, it's still one and two. It's strange to see Barry Zito in this Giants uniform, and as you mentioned last night, an easy transition for him to go over <laughs> from the Oakland A's. Just over the Bay Bridge. Good spot for him to sign as a free agent.
Molina lays off, and the count evens now at two and two. See how Molina attacked that curveball. I mean, you know, with the big breaking curveball, it's going to bounce a lot. And Molina right there, not even trying to catch it, just goes right to his knees and just tries to cover up all the holes and block it. Rosito, of course, the 2002 American League Cy Young Award winner, signing a seven year contract with the Giants. He got as long a contract as Billy Bean got. Yes, he did. Didn't Bean just signed a seven year an, deal? An extension, yes. How about that number? 126. That's a nice little number. That'd be fine. Thank you. That's <laughs> what. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jerry. We have a nice little seven year, one point one hundred twenty six million dollar deal. Oh, do you really? Could you make it one twenty seven? It sounds better. It's a nice round number. Well, the three time all star, you got to be that. Had at least 10 wins and 200 innings in each of his first six full seasons in the majors. You got to have that. Surpassing 14 victory, 14 victories five times. To short the half hop, Feliz picks it and on the run throws out Lugo to end the inning. We're tied at two after two. Welcome to Foxwoods. Can I take those for you? Everybody break out. Everybody get loose now. Everyone has a wild side. Let yours out at Foxwoods. Everybody break out. Everybody get loose now. Everybody. Do you like these back? No. <laughs> no, we're good. Meet your wild side at Foxwoods. Why be average when you can excel? Casual Mail XL. New name, new look. Brands, designer styles, and sizes starting at XL. Call 1-866-THINK-XL for stores in your free catalog, plus special offer. The new luxury crossover, Lincoln MKX. It gets the best-in-class highway fuel economy. The new Lincoln MKZ gets a fuel-efficient 27 miles per gallon. Both give you the confidence of all-wheel drive. Welcome to a smart and luxurious commute. Now lease the Lincoln MKX for just $3.99 a month. Or lease the Lincoln MKZ for just $3.39 a month. Plus a complimentary three-year, 30,000-mile premium maintenance plan. See your New England Lincoln Mercury dealer today. Top half of the third inning as Dave Roberts leads it off for the Giants in a 2 2 game. Both starters kind of settling down in the second inning after allowing two runs in the first. Tavares enjoyed a 1 2 3 second. Roberts chops at it. Tavares can't get it. Pedroia on the run in time to get the speedy Roberts. Let's check in for the first time tonight with Tina Servasio. Don, no matter where Dave Roberts goes over the last three years, someone somewhere wants to talk to him about the steal. And one of the strangest places, he says, was this past year at a college football game. I can see you can sense someone following you, and I'm like, oh, well, here we go. You know, just say hello or tap me on the <laughs> shoulder and say hello or whatever. But then I had to go to the bathroom. So there was no acknowledgement. So sure enough, I, I go to the bathroom, and then next thing you know, the guy's just... He was just looking over at my eyes, right? And, and just, hey, I just want to say I'm a Red Sox fan. And I just want to thank you for the stolen base. So, so there was no foul play, guys. I'm just saying. He was just, so that probably takes the cake. When Roberts was told today how emotional Terry Francona gets when talking about that moment, Roberts said he and Francona have a father son relationship. And while Roberts wanted to play every day but couldn't when Nixon came back, he told Terry he'd always be ready. Roberts says he's honored Terry trusted him and gave him that opportunity at that moment to pinch run for Kevin Millard. 
Well, you can tell the respect that they each have for each other, but you can also tell what a class act uh, Dave Roberts is. And uh, it was great to see him during the offseason. Great to see him today. And it's got to be uh, great for him to be back here at Fenway Park, even if it is in a Giants uniform. But I think, Jerry, you brought up a great point earlier. He's a guy that's played every day in the big leagues, came here, took a look at around the, what the setting was, bought into the role, never said a word the entire time he was here sitting on the bench, waiting for that type of moment. It worked out great for him, and one he'll never forget, and something he'll always be remembered for. But I'm very impressed with the way he handled it. Yeah, you know, not that I'm trying to make another guy out as a bad guy, but remember Jay Payton? He, yeah. he could not handle that. Right. He's, you know, not being an everyday player. Some Roberts can. has been an everyday player his whole career. And then came to this situation and, and didn't find himself in the lineup every day, but still contributed. Did it professionally, and now he's back playing every day. Swing and a miss. Sweeney strikes out second strikeout for Tavares, two down. Tavares with the changeup uh, for the strikeout again. Tavares, when you look at his strikeout numbers, he's had one game where he had seven. That was against Minnesota. Five last time out against Arizona. Two down for Randy Wynn. Wynn grounded out to second base last time up. Four ground ball outs for Tavares. Randy Wynn now 32 years old still resides in Tampa Florida during the offseason we called home actually came up to the big leagues for the first time with the Tampa Bay Devil Rays it's there in 98 through 2002 three seasons in Seattle with the Mariners and now in his third season with the San Francisco Giants guess who he was <laughs> traded for at one time your V Tori Elba. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 30th in 2005. Out towards center field. As Crisp is on the run, he's not going to get there to one hop the wall. As he fires it back in, a two out double for Randy Wynn. Now we'll see how Francona handles Bonds this time. They pitch to him back in the first inning. They got the pop up to second base. Well, the reception's the same. If you Barry Bonds, they know who you are, don't they? No doubt about that. It looks like this time they're going to put him on. They do have the shift on, but Veritek standing like they're going to put him on, and they are. This will be the 25th intentional walk of the season for Bonds. This player profile brought to you by Sovereign Bank, the official bank of the Red Sox cable network. And another one as he heads down to first base. Second walk given up by Tavares, first of the intentional variety. They dealt with him first time around and he popped out. After nearly homering down the right field line, apparently just foul. So it's first and second now, two down. And Tavares will take his chances with Ray Durham, who walked back in the first inning. Strike one to Durham. Durham, 35 years old from Charlotte, North Carolina, two time All Star to the All Star game in 98 and in 2000. Had a career high 26 home runs and 93 runs batted in last year. Durham has been with the Giants since 2003. After spending his career with the Chicago White Sox. Half a season with the Oakland Athletics back in 2002. Just mentioning Don in the open about Bonds and the reaction uh, from the crowd that came early tonight to watch batting practice in the ballpark, and it was, I think, 
more of a reaction for him than any player that's come in the Fenway. Now, A-Rod certainly gets a reaction. But, I mean, from batting, from batting practice on, as soon as he stuck his head out of that dugout, it started. It's amazing. I think this is the most people we've seen at batting practice. And the largest media contingency in front of the dugout. No doubt about that. You're right. Yeah, this is during batting practice. He was stretching for a long time, and that's where he was closest to the fans, where the fans could really let him hear it. The 2 2. A swing and a miss. Durham strikes out, fires the bat away. Third strike out for Tavares. 2 2 game through two and a half. require Massachusetts residents to have health insurance. Thankfully, there's a new family of plans that aren't just lower cost, they're Blue Cross. Which means Blue Cross Blue Shield may now be within your reach. Call 1-888-334-BLUE. That's 1-888-334-BLUE. IDR Media is the official publisher of the Verizon Yellow Pages and home to superpages.com. Delivering billions of print and online searches every year. So anywhere, anytime, find the answers you need and the things you want. IDR Media, bringing superpages.com and the Verizon Yellow Pages to your community. I wanted to add something new to our relationship, but I was afraid to bring it up. Then a close friend turned us on to KiaMatch.com, and in just minutes, we found the perfect companion for both of us. The Kia Sportage. I felt so safe. And with 28 miles per gallon, we could just go forever. Find your match at KiaMatch.com or visit your New England Kia retail. Last half of the third inning, the top of the Red Sox order, J.D. Drew, to face Barry Zito in a 2-2 game. Drew was hit by a pitch in his first at bat. Last night uh, in the top spot for the Red Sox for the first time in the formal capacity and was 0 for 5. I would guess that Willie Mo Payne would get the call as the uh, DH once uh, Ortiz's spot comes up against Zito, the left hander. Well, he's got himself a bat. A little foul over by the Red Sox dugout. One and two now for J.D. Drew. In the center field, a base hit. Saw a few of those in Arizona. The center field for J.D. Drew, and he gets one here. You know, looking at that David Ortiz ejection, I think the Rondazzo may have been a little bit overzealous on this. Now, there's no question that Ortiz is unhappy with the call, and they have their exchange at home plate, and uh, you know they're not happy with each other. But one, now Ortiz is going to turn around and say one more thing. He's going to start to walk back. Okay, and now he walks. He's going to be about 60 feet away from him. Rendazzo continues to watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him. And then finally, after about 60 feet, almost in front of the dugout, takes the bat and helmet and just tosses it down in the ground. And that causes the ejection? Come on. You know, I can understand. I know you're not supposed to throw equipment, but he's not even close to him. And, and, and you know, had he done that right around Rendazzo at home plate, I certainly understand the ejection. No question about that. But being that far away, come on, give me a break. 
Looks like he was waiting for him to do something so he could run him. You're exactly right. You can call out a homer call all you want, but uh, that's the facts. Pedroia off the end of the bat. A lot of English. It spins its way by Sweeney. Picked up by Durham and dropped, and Pedroia will reach. That was right off the end of the bat, like a cue shot in pool, and somehow made its way by Sweeney. Yeah, it looks like he was taking a shot, you know, that circles other balls <laughs> on the pool table. Yeah. But they were players instead. There, it spins by the first baseman Sweeney, and then uh, spins out of the glove of Durham, and everybody's safe, and incredibly, it goes as a base hit. <laughs> the Royals' second hit of the night. Thank you very much. One was a blast into the monster seats. This one, a lot of English. Better chalk up that bat next time you use it. <laughs> so first and second, nobody out. Willie Moe bats for the first time. 238, four homers. And 10 runs batted in. He's all for four in his career against Zito. The right hander you had, you don't want to put your catcher in the game too, but Maribelli's got to fairly good numbers against Zito. Yeah, but you can't put him in a game at no. this stage. If you lose Veritek and you you're know, in trouble, then you're, you're catching. <laughs> in your suit. <laughs> It'd be like when Barabelli showed up from San Diego. <laughs> you know, they they bring you down from the booth and they'd rush you out there, no cop, nothing, just ready to go. Jacket and tie, and let's go get him. <laughs> Nemo had just one at bat in the Rocky series, was 0 for 1 as he struck out and had a bat. Only tie has been tough to come by lately. Has started nine games in right, eight in center, and three in left. Framed by Molina, but it's inside, three and one. And that call has Zito shaking his head. Molina never moved the glove. <laughs> Willie Moe sitting on fastball three and one. Uh uh. You got to change up at about 73 miles an hour. He could have pulled back and swung again. Three and two. That one misses, and he's down to first base. Second walk given up by Zito. Well, if there was ever a time for Manny to get on a home run tear, this would be a nice time to start. Three career home runs against Zito. And he fly to center first time up. He got eight of them on the season so far home runs. And 478 in his career 26th all time. Strike one. He was a 335 hitter in his career with the bases loaded 20 grand slams. Filled with Red Sox. With nobody out here in the last of the third 2 2 game. Chop to third base. Feliz will go to second for one. On to first base. Not in time. Run in. Drew scores from third and puts the Red Sox on top 3 2. And RBI number 35 of the season for Ramirez. And he couldn't get it in the air. It was the breaking ball, the big high bounce to Pedro Feliz, but uh, Ramirez hustling down that line is trying to stay away from the double play. I tell you, when Manny decides to run, he's got yeah. decent speed. <laughs> it's 
So it's first and third now. And we have one out of the inning. Kevin Euclid got it to shortstop first time up. And a strike from Zito. Zito broke into the big leagues in 2000 with the Oakland A's. Cy Young Award winner in 2002 when he went 23 and 5 with a 2.75 earned run average. It's the only time he's been a 20 game winner. Nicholas ahead 2 and 1. Looks like the big curveball again from Zito. When that pitch is on for him, he's awfully tough. That's got to be one of the best curveballs in the big leagues. Left side at Vizquel. He goes to second for one on to first base and the double play. It ends the inning. The Red Sox do get the go-ahead run in the end. It's a 3-2 Boston lead after three. Behind the scenes and ahead of the game. Get ahead of the game on Nesson. Olympia Sports presents the Boston. You could save with Geico Motorcycle Insurance. Enough for a night out with your special someone. Geico Motorcycle. Let's ride. XM, 170 channels to find what turns you on, including Major League Baseball, every team, every game. After the game, visit boston.com slash events, now packed with 4,000 local events and venues. Liven up your calendar at boston.com slash events. Yeah, they got your line there. How you doing? How you doing? Just one and in it. How you doing? That's it. That's all you want to throw out there. I, I still driving home last night was trying to figure that out. I told you she may it's... be doing something different than when you asked her the first time. <laughs> Benji Molina leading it off. I'll tell you one thing. I'm glad I have Secret Service protection now because I think that chap was waiting for me when I went to the car last night. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Dan Roach. <laughs> Benji Molina rounded out the shortstop first time up. And his second look tonight at Julian Tavares. Tavares up to 56 pitches as he works here in the fourth inning. The starters have not been going as deeply in the games. A couple of tough outings. Schilling and Beckett, and we've seen a lot of Kyle Snyder lately, the guy who, for the most part, is thought of as kind of a long guy coming in a couple of different times, working two innings. And let's get to a little longer outing tonight from Tavares. Back to Tavares. Molina's out number one at the top of the fourth. 
Well, don't forget, Red, uh, Red Sox Nation members, you still have a chance to win four free tickets of Tom Werner's personal seats for Sunday's game here against the Giants. If you are a Red Sox Nation member, you don't have to do anything. They're going to be picked randomly. If you are not a member, you still have time tonight to join because they're not going to pick the win until after the game tonight. They will be posted Saturday morning on RedSox.com or the Remory Board, and you could win four of Tom's personal seats for the game on Sunday free. And they'll also inform you, uh, they will call you to let you know where to pick up the ticket. So, Red Sox Nation members, you still have time tonight to join the nation and get a chance to win those tickets. Pedro Feliz batting with one down here in the fourth inning. Side corner for a strike, two and one. And Tavares has always seemed to draw the ace of the other staff, hasn't he? And he's always been able to hold his own and do very well. Never fails. Kevin Millwood once, Roy Halliday twice, Chin Ming Wong, Johan Santana. And Roy at second base, and there's two down. FW Webb is proud to be the official supplier of plumbing, heating, and cooling supplies for the Boston Red Sox. To learn more about how FW Webb can help you, contact your local professional contractor or visit fwweb.com. FW Webb, we've got it. Two down for Nate Scherholz. I forgot Dan Heron. He's another guy that he faced. So Millwood, Holiday twice, Chin Ming Wong, Yohan Santana. And Dan Heron, just a couple of the guys that he has faced, and now he deals with Zito. Also made a start against Mike Mussina, who's not bad either. I sense Francona getting a little annoyed today about the John Lester questions, you know, because every time Tavares makes a start, yeah. the Lester questions come up. And he said, look, Julian Tavares is a fifth starter right now. And he's he's a, he's a starting pitcher. That's it. He even said today that he could start all year. Exactly. To short. Lugo's got it. And that'll do it in the end. One, two, three. We're through three and a half. It's a three, two Red Sox lead. Get two pace with your twenties. Or milk with your money. All in just one quick stop. Now the Sovereign Bank has added over 1,000 ATMs in CVS Pharmacy locations across the Northeast. You can do two things at once. Like get your deodorant with your dollars. Sovereign ATMs at CVS. Make your own double play. With Friendly's Chicken Strips Baskets, sharing has never been so easy. Try our Honey Barbecue Chicken Strips Basket. Tender chicken served sweet and tangy. Or our kicking Buffalo Chicken Strips with a cool side of blue cheese. Stop in and try any of our Chicken Strips Baskets. And chill out with an iced latte made with a bold blend of Sumatra coffee. Mixed with fresh light cream and finished with a sweet mocha drizzle in a variety of flavors. This summer, grab a bite and chill at Friendly's. So come on, get in, get friendly. For a limited time, we're offering zero down, zero first payment, and zero security deposit. That's right, zero cash due on delivery on the Volvo S40 and S60. Sign your name and drive away. It's that easy. Our sign and drive sales event is the perfect time to go to a Volvo retailer. We know you'll hear the answers you want. Lease a 2007 Volvo S60 for $379 a month for 36 months. Zero due at sign-in. to do in Massachusetts, one fun thing leads right into the next. Visit MassVacation.com for a complete list of getaways. Massachusetts, make it. Bottom of the fourth inning, 3-2. The Red Sox on top, Mike Lowell, Jason Veritek, and Coco Crisp. Case Barry Zito, Red Sox got the go-ahead run last inning.
Bull now has hit safely in his last four games. And 28 of 30 home games at Fenway Park this season. Up foul off to the right, two and two. Remember that if you need medical care while at Fenway, visit the Beth Israel Deaconess First Aid Stand behind Section 12. Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center is the official hospital of the Boston Red Sox. Oh, lifts it down the right field line towards Canvas Alley and foul just beyond it. Next time that the Giants and the Colorado Rockies get together to play. They'll say, "What'd you think about Fenway Park?" And the Rockies will say, "Well, the weather was brutal." <laughs> and Giants say, "Oh, it's beautiful. We had a great night." <laughs> you never really know day to day because it was pretty tough here the last couple days. Picture perfect tonight, though. Very comfortable. First of three between the Red Sox and the Giants. It'll be Matsuzak and Kane tomorrow. Wakefield and Morris on Sunday. The walk for Lowell. We check in with Tina Servasio. Don, no doubt the Red Sox have been struggling lately. It was a pretty quiet locker room last night in the clubhouse during post game. But when talking to Jason Veritek, definitely looking forward to today with the Giants coming in here and the first time the San Francisco Giants with them bringing Barry Bonds. Maybe it's putting a little charge into the Red Sox. Uh, it'll be, you know, be exciting for baseball. Uh, first time the Giants has ever been here. So, um, outside of that, we have a, a team to try and beat and a series to try and win. But when asked the question about why the team is struggling, the captain says it's not that the team is slumping; it's just they're not getting positive results. Of course, a couple of hard-hit balls last night hit right at people tonight. Maybe they could be turning the table. Hey Tina, well, here's hoping so. The Red Sox have really been uh, quiet offensively. They've had some base runners unable to. Hit in the clutch and runners in scoring position have been a large issue lately. Some early chances uh, unable to connect. And of course, uh, last night had the bases loaded early and uh, really couldn't do anything with it. And in the grand slam, the very next inning opened some things up and the Rockies certainly brought their bats with them. It looks funny. It. When you're struggling down as a team, you know, the, like early in the game last night, you get a base hit with the bases loaded, it might open things completely up for the team uh, offensively. It could have been. Could have been totally different. Instead, you get the line drive out and you just scuffle the rest of the game. You know, the hot shot last night by J.D. Drew that was uh, snatched up and the shortstop by Tulowitzki. We highlighted it in the open last night about uh, the upcoming schedule for the Red Sox, and it's not terribly easy. They're going to be facing a lot of good pitching on this next road trip. As they go to Atlanta for three, of course, to San Diego and Seattle. Back out west again. Second of three trips this year to the West Coast. And of course, just uh, there a week ago, going back out again. Oh boy. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> Down the line, diving at third is Felice. His throw goes to first, and it is picked out nicely on the other side by Sweeney, stretching and picking at the same time. Yeah. Uh, Yep. Text gone. Two very nice plays here. First of all, by Pedro Feliz at third base, well off that bag, has to dive to make the play and save a double. And then from his knee, the short hop to first base, and a nice pick by Mike Sweeney at the other end. Mark Sweeney, excuse me, at the other end. That's not an easy one to pick. That ball was quite a distance from him when it bounced. Ryan Klesko not in the lineup tonight. He's been bothered by some hip problems recently. Oh, late change right before the game. Well, yeah, you know, it's interesting. We're talking to Johnny Miller, who is here, of course, broadcasting games for the uh, Giants, and he said he was never in the starting lineup. Well, a lineup that they sent yeah. over this afternoon to the Red Sox, he definitely was in the starting right. lineup. Sure. I, ca I ca uh, took it right off uh, Terry Francona's desk. Well, John Miller, who certainly comes here quite a bit for Sunday Night Baseball on ESPN, of course, uh, doing the games for the Giants on radio in San Francisco. And of course broadcast here in Boston on yes. the radio and he was telling a lot of the players and broadcasters uh, about this ball pot prior to the game. Tim Coleman's partner. 
Well, he would have been broadcasting while you were playing. Yes. Yes. Yep. And of course, the years in Baltimore. We're heading out west to San Francisco. A strike over the outside corner. Well, it's two and one to Crisp, who walked his first time up. More walks than strikeouts so far tonight for Barry Zito. He has walked three and struck out two. Too far inside, and it's three and one now to Coco Crisp. Leo Lugo waits on deck, one out. Runner in scoring position is Mike Lowell. Well, the Red Sox on top, three to two. Swing and a miss, and a full count now. Excellent changeup by Zito again in that fastball count. Coco Crisp thinking fastball does not get it. We were saying today that Magan has been working with Coco about not crouching over as much, standing more straight up and down so his head doesn't move as much. Durham behind second, ranging nicely. The off balance throw and another pick at first base by Sweeney. Wow, did Coco get out of the box? Because usually on a play like that, there's no way you can throw him out at first base. He is hitting from the right side. That makes a difference. But when that ball uh, got past the pitcher, I never expected to be thrown out at first. Take a look at Chris as he goes down that line. Now he's going. That's just a good friend, a very yeah. good play by Durham. That one was ticketed for center field as Durham was able to gather it back a second. Nice play. Another good pick at first by Sweeney again. And the Giants showing some defense in the inning. That same ball hitting left hand is a base hit. Right handed, that extra step. That was the difference at first base. Rolls at third base, two down. Chance for Lugo to deliver him. As far as defense goes, Colorado is tops in the majors, and we saw them in the last three games. The Giants are sixth in fielding percentage in the National League. They made 37 errors. Zito down 3 and 0. 14th start for Barry Zito. Six and six coming into tonight's action. He's the opening day starter for the Giants. You mentioned the troubles that he's had against the Oakland Athletics. This time he faced the Athletics, left the game uh, trailing six to nothing. Ball four, and down to first base goes Lugo. Fourth walk given up by Zito. As the temperatures rise in New England, let Nesson put your summer on ice with Bruins Summer Sundays. This Sunday night, join Andy Brickley for a look back. At a new Bruins classic at 10. And then stay tuned for the first summer episode of The Buzz when Hazel checks out your favorite Bruins offseason activities. I bet there's a lot of golf in that. Every Sunday is a Bruins summer Sunday. A lot of hockey players are very good golfers. Yes. A lot of baseball players are very good golfers. First and third, two down. And the third time. But J.D. Drew has gotten a look at Barry Zito tonight. Was hit by a Barry Zito pitch in the first and scored. Single in the third and scored. Time call Lugo doing some housekeeping. Where his lead would be at first base. Now Lugo with those 18 steals has not been caught yet this season. He was doing all kinds of work out there clearing stuff off. You were a base dealer. Did you clear off your path like that from well, time to time? What happens out there sometimes, you know, because there's so much activity around first base, you get some divots, you get some clumps, and, uh, you know, you, you, like a, you like a nice surface to get a good jump on. It's almost like a, a you know, guy that runs track getting out of the blocks. Oh, 
remember one game we came in here when I was with the Angels, of course, very early in my career. All we could do was run. We couldn't hit, we couldn't score, but we could run. <laughs> and first base, Joe Mooney was the groundskeeper at that time, was like mud. I mean, they made it <laughs> mud. And you couldn't get a jump for anything. It was like, you're just slipping and sliding over there. There goes Lugo. This one is line foul. This is not a great track for running this Red Sox infield. Two down, first and third. Late swing protecting the plate that time was J.D. Drew and it's still two and two. Red Sox have scored two or fewer runs in four straight games and seven of the last nine. Tonight they have three runs. And they got Lugo picked off. See if they can complete it down. They will concern themselves with Lowell, who is safely back to the bag at third. How about that? He got halfway down the line, and their attention certainly changed with him cheating towards the plate, and they cannot get him. Well, it's a slide by Lowell as he slides to the outside, the foul part of the bag. Now they pick off Lugo, and then Lowell decides to come down that line. He's just waiting for a throw. The throw never did happen. And I think the first baseman Sweeney just waited a little bit too long to make that throw to third base. It made it too close a play. If he gets rid of it right away, they have Lowell. He's able to slide away from that sweeping tag by Pedro Feliz. So now it's second and third with two down. A little check swing foul. You know, one thing you want to do is, you know, we mentioned this the other night, you never want to have a rundown end at home plate. You don't like to because any kind of mistake, the run scores. But I think in that case, uh, as he was trying to get him going back to third, I think uh, Sweeney just waited just a fraction of a second too long, and that gave Lowell a chance to at least slide back into third. Inside almost hit him again, and it's a full count. So it works out to be a stolen base for Lugo yet another without being caught. It's now 19. Three and two. Pedroia waits on deck. Lowell at third, Lugo at second, and Drew to center field. Dave Roberts back, still going. It's over his head and off the wall. Lowell has scored. Lugo's in behind him. It's a two run double for J.D. Drew. Well, that's the quickest way to change those uh, boos and the cheers for J.D. Drew. The two out base hit. He gets the curveball that stays about thigh high and up over the head of Roberts in center field. So a big two out base hit by Drew. You know, he had that seven RBA game on that last road trip, and you thought, you know, this is it. He's going to take off from here. Struggled back at home, but tonight on base three times. Well, Dave Rigetti, the former Yankee. Oh, I still get sick when I see Rigetti. <laughs> well, a no hitter against us, uh, I believe, on the 4th of July at Yankee Stadium. We had no chance. It was one of those hot, humid New York days, and he was blowing us away. <laughs> well, Randy Messenger is out in the pen for the Giants. First action we've seen out there in the pen. Put you on deck. We would have broken it up, wouldn't you? Yeah, if I'd have got one yeah. more crack at him, I'm sure that would have been it. Yeah. <laughs> When Boggs made the last time, I said, thank you. <laughs> well, pitching coach, Bruce Bochy. Pedroia, with Drew at second base, takes a strike one and one. 
Dustin has two hits tonight the two run home run in the first inning and the infield single in the third. Getty checking on Messenger has been up in the pen. Zito up to 85 pitches but has allowed more importantly five runs. To right field Pedroia has got his third hit of the night. Drew's going to try and score the throw from Scherholz is not going to be in time. Pedroia up to second on the throw and it's six to two Boston. Here are the runs the Red Sox have been without lately. Well this is certainly nice to see is the production from the top of the batting order J.D. Drew and Pedroia now with three hits already on the night. A strong throwing arm we see here from Scherholz. But J.D. Drew sliding in before the tag of Benji Molina and on the throw Pedroia goes to second base. Imagine if he finds his spot in the leadoff role. Wow. That's kind of the last place I would have expected him to find it. As Wilmo Pena. I'll tell you one thing, it'll change the pay scale for the leadoff hitters, <laughs> won't it? <laughs> Where was it when you were playing? <laughs> Not quite that high. <laughs> Well, Damon did a little of that too. Yes, he's doing he did. quite well in New York. He's getting by. Yeah, he did pretty well, <laughs> yeah. And he came in after Big Poppy was ejected. In the first inning, I guess you could say, arguing balls and strikes. He tossed his equipment or threw it down. It was enough for Randazzo to chase him from the game. Ortiz ejected for the sixth time in his career, third time in a Red Sox uniform. And without Big Poppy, the Red Sox have six runs on five hits and lead it six to two. Pena strikes out, but the Red Sox score three times and take a 6 2 lead into the fifth. I am your idea. Color me. Get me noticed. Make me shout. And stand out. Give me Rico color that always works. I am your idea. Make me brighter. Make me shine. I am your idea. Get me in there. Make it happen in flying colors. It's you and me, and here we go with Rico. Huh? Very nice. Check this out. <laughs> Oh, looks great. All right, come on. You were right, honey. The picture looks incredible on every TV. You're an amazing person. Our kids are blessed to have you for a father. Okay. That's all I'm saying. The most amazing picture, period. Only with Verizon Fios, the most advanced fiber optic network straight to your home. I wanted to add something new to our relationship. But I was afraid to bring it up. Then a close friend turned us on to KiaMatch.com, and in just minutes, we found the perfect companion for both of us. The Kia Sportage. I felt so safe. And with 28 miles per gallon, we could just go forever. Find your match at KiaMatch.com or visit your New England Kia retailers. Curveball will spin up to 30 times a second and break as much as 17 inches. Watch every pitch in clear Panasonic motion. Panasonic Plasma for the speed of sports. Panasonic, ideas for life. Top half of the fifth inning, the Red Sox scoring three times in the fourth, lead at six to two. And a bunch showing from Omar Vizquel. You know, one thing we should mention about Vizquel, Don, uh, we did not give the defense tonight because of time uh, restraints. But Omar Vizquel has 11 Gold Gloves at shortstop. The only shortstop with more is Ozzie Smith, who has 13 or had 13. He's not going to get any more, Ozzie. No. <laughs> 
This guy has been some kind of shortstop throughout his major league career. And an offensive milestone too. He got his 2,500th hit in May in Philadelphia off Cole Hamels. He makes plays barehanded like I've never seen any other shortstop make. it up left side Lugo makes the catch for the first out time now for the Kia player of the week it's Jonathan Papelbon had two saves four strikeouts in two innings against Arizona and Colorado the Kia player of the week Red Sox closer Jonathan Papelbon Papel Bond was blowing the other night. Wow, 97-98 with his fastball. The best we've seen since that first weekend in Texas. Dave Roberts. Quickly down 0 and 2. Tavares has retired the last five batters in a row. And a long first inning throwing 22 pitches in the first, but since then has been very good. He gave up two runs. He faced uh, just three batters and really given up two runs tonight, but has settled down. 70 pitches. So two misses, one and two. Some concern about a blister after the last start for uh, Yo Yo, but apparently, think we well, have some crazy remedy of yes, <laughs> aspirin and Red Bull that he rubs on into yeah. something, Tylenol and Red Bull. Yeah. I think Tina Servasio is going to tell us exactly what it is, but I think you're right. There's a ball. Let's go to Tina. Tina. That's right. Julian Tavares takes one aspirin and he crushes it up and mixes it with some Red Bull and then he just rubs it on his finger and he showed me he has a hole where there was a blister but by doing that it dries it up. He says the uh, the caffeine from the Red Bull and then the aspirin of course thins the skin and that's his little homemade remedy. I know the uh, Josh Beckett used that uses that rodeo cream but for Julian aspirin and some Red Bull. That'll work. That's the first for me. <laughs> yeah. Breaking ball outside, and it's a full count. Roberts bats now. It'll be Mark Sweeney next. Lots tonight has been intentionally walked once so far after popping out in the first. On the right field line, and a fair ball. Grabbed by a fan, they'll give him second base. So the second hit of the night for Dave Roberts. That pitch was up, and he kind of went up to get it, sent it down the right field line. Yeah, it hooked it, didn't he? It looked like maybe a fastball up and away from Dave Roberts. And he hooks it, rolls those wrists over, and uh, right down that right field line, bounces into the stands, and wow, look at this Whoa. guy. Jeez. But he's got it. He's got the ball. I hope he's all right. Looks like he lost a little hair when he fell. I need that Secret Service again tonight when I leave that. <laughs> that was a nasty tumble up. Yeah. Man, you have to be careful about your back and everything and hitting your head on a, one of the fans. 2 0 oh to Mark Sweeney. And one out. So 
And he with a double in the first inning, struck out swinging in the third. His double knocked in a run. Chopped right side. Euclid's backing up on it. It's going to need help. Tavares is there for the out. And there's two away. Roberts to third on the ground out to the right side. Tune in all season long for the Bob Stores easy as one, two, three strikeout. Bob Stores is your destination for Red Sox gear, top brand footwear, and casual clothing for the entire family. Bob Stores, official apparel store of the Boston Red Sox. That's a heck of a play by Euclid at first base. That ball had a ton of topspin on it, and he had to go back on it to backhand it. Euclid is still errorless ball at first base. Two errors on the season, but both of those coming at third base. Probably just gouted him now. Two down, Roberts at third as Randy Wynn swings away and fouls it off. One more look at the Kevin Euclid's play, how he has to back up and watch this ball, these top spin on it as it's almost behind him when he makes the play. And a nice little flip to Tavares covering first base. Ball to strike to Randy Wynn. Six two Red Sox on top scoring three times in the bottom of the fourth inning Barry Bonds waits on deck. This one rolled down the first baseline Tavares picks it and rolls it to first base in time more bowling from Tavares. <laughs> My goodness. Very wondering the same thing. Why must he do it? But he's done it again, and it's six to two Red Sox. Summertime means Toyota summer deals. You can save with Camry's lowest lease payment ever. Just $1.99 a month for 36 months with $19.99 due at signing. Or with the biggest cash back offer ever on Sienna, $1,500. Toyota summer sales event ends soon. So get your deal, grab the wheel, and get out in the sun. Today we're showing you how to deal with sexual harassment in the workplace. When wearing a Hager suit-up system, you got to be prepared for that kind of thing. They're made right, so you can get the pants and jacket that fit you best right off the rack. Ladies, your advances are not appreciated. Let's think about something more pleasant for a minute. Good idea. How about this? Hager clothes are guaranteed for life. Oh. Did you see that? My friend is not your sexual plaything. Totally unprofessional. Till next time, we'll be right here, making, making things, things right. right. Quick Creek Concrete. For over 60 years, it's been used by just about everyone for just about everything. Quick creep, king of the concrete jungle. Have you driven the all-wheel drive Fusion? It beat out Camry and Accord in performance, handling, and styling. No wonder it's the fastest growing car in its segment. How about Ford Edge, the coolest crossover to hit the streets with a class-exclusive Vista roof and best-in-class horsepower? Right now, lease a Ford Fusion for just $199 a month or an Edge for just $269 and get a premium maintenance plan at no extra charge. And he leads it off and it takes ball one from Barry Zito. Last half of the fifth. Red Sox on top six to two. Well we've seen this before from Tavares where he rolls the ball to first base you know but I think in this last case it's not a bad idea because he might have thrown it in the back of the runner. He just rolls it to uh, Euclid to get the out. 
Feliz on the run. In time to get Ramirez at first base. Now the one we saw earlier in the year was a bit ridiculous. A lot was from the mound, but I think this one, I think Yo-Yo, I think may have been the right play because if he throws the ball, he may hit that runner in the back. So instead, he just uh, candle pins for cash. He can do it. So one away, and Kevin Euclid is old for two. He's grounded out twice. Pops it up this time right side. Sweeney handles out number two. The league leaders are brought to you by Olympia Sports. And Zito at the top of the list of the league leaders. Start since 2001. He's made 222. Ivan Hernandez at 218 he is third. A lot of lefties in that group, isn't yes. it? Yes. Cool batting for the third time tonight. He struck out and walked. Now tomorrow the game will be on Fox. That's starting at about five of four here at Fenway Park. Kenny Albert, Tim McCarver doing the ball game. Saw them uh, prior to the game tonight. Good to see Kenny Albert. Uh, great guy. He's a terrific guy. We used to do uh, AHL games together. He uh, yeah. way back was doing the Baltimore Skipjacks. Had a chance to do a few games with him uh, at Fox, and he was great to work with. And popped up foul off to the right, two and two. And we'll be right back with you here on Sunday for the finale of this uh, three-game series against the Giants. Swing and a miss, low late in the cut. Man. Red Sox down in order. We played five, six, two, Boston. Country tis of the sweet land of liberty of the icy. This 4th of July, the people of Southwest Airlines join the people of the United States of America as we celebrate our independence. From every mountain side, let freedom win. You are now free to celebrate your birthday, America. Looking for new tires? Take a look at this deal. Stop in at Sullivan Tire now through June 23rd during the Dunlop Shades of Performance event. Buy four select Dunlop tires and get your choice of either a pair of Serengeti sunglasses or a $50 mail-in rebate. And as an extra plus, buy four Dunlops at Sullivan Tire and you'll get another $50 cash back instantly. A double deal on Dunlop at Sullivan Tire. For the best tire deals, come to Sullivan Tire. We're always here to get you there. I wanted to add something new to our relationship, but I was afraid to bring it up. Then a close friend turned us on to KiaMatch.com, and in just minutes, we found the perfect companion for both of us. The Kia Sportage. I felt so safe. And with 28 miles per gallon, we could just go forever. Find your match at KiaMatch.com or visit your New England Kia retailers. Welcome to Foxwoods. Can I take those for you? Everybody break down. Everybody get loose now. Everyone has a wild side. Let yours out at Foxwoods. Everybody break out. Everybody get loose now. Everybody break out. Would you like these back? No. No, we're, we're good. good. Everybody break out. Meet your wild side at Foxwoods. Top half of the sixth inning back at Fenway, six to two. The boos you hear. Barry Bond stepping back in the box for the third time tonight. Well, there have been so many different chants throughout the ballpark. But it's tough to figure out what any of them are because they're I different they, ones yeah. all over. I think they've all come with their message and it's yeah. all blending in together. It, it's all different and it's in like six different places. They need to come together on this chant. They're going to get it done. 
Right side shift on. Pedroia short right going to hurry up gets it there in time. Bond's gone again. Tickets are now on sale for the second annual Futures at Fenway Doubleheader at Fenway Park on August 11th. The low price twin bill is presented by Filings Basement and features the Portland and Lowell clubs this year. See RedSox.com for details. So one down, and then it brings up Ray Durham. Walked in the first, struck out swinging in the third inning. Back through the middle and by the glove of Tavares into center field. Let's check in with Tom Karen, TC. Thank you, Don. Our New England Toyota dealer game break. Roger Clemens on the mound for the Yankees against the New York Mets. Already one nothing Mets. Jose Reyes gets his third home of the year. First pitch swinging with one out in the fifth. So it's a two nothing lead. Clemens five innings so far. The two earned runs. He has struck out seven guys. Well, thanks very much. It is six to two. The Red Sox on top here in the top half of the sixth inning. With one away, Ray Durham now at first base after he singled back up the middle into center. And Benji Molina bats. He's grounded out twice tonight. Boston has lost two games in the standings in the last two days to reduce that lead in the American League East to seven and a half games to begin tonight's action. May 29th, they led by 14 and a half games. How different it looks now. To right and in for a hit from Molina. Durham headed for third base, gathered by Drew, the throwback in and it's first and third now with one down. A lot of the hits Molina has had against the Red Sox, that type of base hit to the opposite field. A bit of an inside out swing here by Benji Molina on that sinking fastball. And takes the base hit the other way. That'll bring a meeting from John Farrell. Gives me a chance to remind people that. Uh, my annual Red so uh, Remdog All-Star Party coming up here at Fenway Park, the night of the All-Star Game. It's July the 10th. We will have the pavilion section here at Fenway. We can hold about a thousand people. You get to uh, take batting practice, you get to, to see the Red Sox clubhouse, you get to eat, you get to drink, you get prizes. We give away a lot of stuff. And uh, so go to the remreport.com to sign up for it. And you'll have a heck of a night. Uh, it's always been a good time. People enjoy it. You get a lot of repeat customers. You get to take batting practice again this year, then again. That's great. Yep. A lot of things that you can't do on a normal tour, you get to do on that night. And first and third here all of a sudden with one down in the top half of the sixth inning. Pedro Feliz. And his 0 for 2 is grounded to short, popped to second base. Time call. And let me go on record as saying that you again have been invited to come this year. <laughs> so if you don't show up, people will know that you have been invited. <laughs> Heck, we might even get some Patriot cheerleaders there this year. Really? You never know. So a tap foul. Wally's always there. That was a big hit. Doesn't say very much, but he is always there. Now you get a couple of pops in him. He's just it's funny. Walter's, Walter's a lot of fun. <laughs> Tavares is throwing 86 pitches. In on the hands and popped up foul left side. Kind of jammed him. Lugo makes the catch. Two down in the sixth. Now Tavares in that first and third situation looking for a ground ball for a double play to get out of the inning. He does not get the ground ball, but he jams Pedro Feliz and gets that little pop up the shortstop. Again, you see the movement on the fastball from Tavares going back in on the hands of Pedro Feliz. Does not get the good part of the. Uh, did he get hurt on Ooh, that? Might have. 
think he might have hurt his knee or his ankle uh, after making that delivery. And five and two thirds now for him, giving up just the two runs. They came in the first inning. The first two hitters had base hits. Roberts a single, an RBI double for Sweeney right out of the gate. He has settled down since then. There's not a lot of run since then. Maybe they should bring out the Ashman and uh, Red Bull and rub right. it on the, uh, the knee or the ankle. Nate Sherholtz, the right fielder. Right side to Euclid. Another ground ball out. And this out is good for the third out. Five and a half deep into this one. It's a 6 2 Red Sox lead. You see that bouncing little Sox top cap? It means money for your school and a chance to meet a Red Sox player. Find them on Hood Light Block Bottles. Sox Tops. Find out more at Hood.com. Sports. Have you driven a Ford? Have you driven the new 2008 Ford Escape? It's more fun than ever. Escape delivers up to 28 miles per gallon, and now you'll get a Sun and Satellite package at no extra charge. Includes a power moonroof, AM FM stereo with CD player and MP3 capability, plus a 12 month subscription to Sirius Radio. Lease a 2008 Ford Escape for just $249 a month. Hurry, this offer ends July 2nd. Yeah, I know. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's great. Well, she wants a KFC famous bowl. You know, layers of her favorites: mashed potatoes, corn, chicken, gravy, and cheese, all in a bowl. Try KFC famous bowls, freshly prepared with our homestyle mashed potatoes, layered with sweet corn, all white meat, crispy chicken, and topped with our signature gravy and three cheese blend. Dig into great layers of flavor with KFC famous bowls. So, how you been, man? Uh, good, good. I just got back from Vegas. Oh, yeah? What'd you do? Um, I saw some shows. Shows? Yeah, I saw the producers. I like shows. That's, uh, that's kind of my thing. Bottom half of the sixth inning with the Red Sox on top six to two and Zito back out there at 99 pitches. Veritek, Crispin, Lugo bottom third of the Red Sox order. Zito retired the side in order in the fifth inning. And nine pitches. Zito some runs and usually it's lights out. He's 89 and four, and receiving at least four runs of support in his outings. He's 15 and one last year with 23 starts with two or more runs. Pitch outside, and it's now two and one. This is a guy that I thought the Yankees were really going to make a run at uh, in the offseason uh, as a free agent pitcher. Didn't hear much about the, no. anything with New York. It happened pretty quickly, and I think for him it made so much sense for all the reasons we talked about. The longness of the contract, certainly the price of the contract, and the fact that it was just across the bridge. It seemed to work out great. And he strikes out Veritek, 5Ks now for Zito. So one down and it brings up Coco Crisp who has walked and grounded out to second base. Thought I mentioned the blood drive that we had the last few days at Children's Hospital kind of wrapped up today at mm -hmm. the with the blood mobile out here at uh, on Yawkey Way. Met a lot of people 
that stopped by to give blood when I was going out to do the pregame show. So thank you very much for your participation again. Red Sox fans have been great with that and uh, a huge success again. So we'll be having more as the season goes on. I was going to say, you got two of them down, you got more playing oh, the rest yeah. of the summer. Yep. The strike, and it's two and one now to Coco Crisp. Giants are third in the National League with a 3.73 earned run average as a staff. They lead the majors in complete games. They get five of them. First home runs allowed. They're third as the pitch a strike. Chris thought he had ball four. And it's a full count now. Molina setting up away. Fastball away. And it looks like it does get the corner. On the ground to third base, and Bootman is Feliz. Step to his right. Kicks off into short, but at first is crisp. Ball hit pretty hard by Coco Crisp and Feliz, who has played a very good third base. Only three errors on the season. Never seemed to get his uh, footwork correct on that. And could not quite get in front of it. And that's going to be it for Barry Zito. So Zito is gone after 110 pitches tonight. And responsible for Chris reaches on the error committed at third base by Felice. This call to the bullpen is brought to you by New England Ford dealers. If you've driven a Ford lately, it's like Messenger making his way in at 6-2 Red Sox. Back after this. Charlie, Henry, wake up. Tom, you're wasting your time sleeping when you could be texting. Left hand on top, right hand, send it a picture message. <laughs> Nothing says it like a text message. Dad. Text IM Picks and Flicks as much as you want to anyone on any network in the U.S. when you switch to the new Verizon Wireless Family Share Plan. Buy Dad an LG and make him an ESPN MVP. Only with VCAS. Verizon Wireless. It's highly refined. It's imported by the barrel. And it's another thing you shouldn't guzzle while driving. Now Dodge goes the distance with our most fuel-efficient lineup ever, like Charger with 28 highway miles per gallon, Caliber with 32 highway miles per gallon, and the all-new Avenger SE with 30 highway miles per gallon. Maximize your miles with our most fuel-efficient lineup vehicles ever. Now get 0% financing plus $500 bonus cash on Charger and Avenger. So we've got the three shows, and then we have the signing at the summer book fair. Then we've got the two meetings after that. I so. We got a situation here. Shopping segment with Rachel. Hey, Rachel, I got you some iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. Fantabulous, thanks. Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee keeps Rachel Ray going all summer long. America runs on Dunkin'. Buy an iced coffee or any other beverage and get a breakfast sandwich for only $1.99. Tonight after our Red Sox coverage, stay with Nessa for Sports Desk with Hazel May, presented by F.W. Webb, home of Frank Webb's Bass Tennis. Visit them at fwweb.com. She'll bring you the details and reactions to the Bruins' decision to relieve head coach Dave Lewis of his current duties tonight, plus highlights and reaction from day two of the U.S. Open Golf Championship. Catch it all tonight after our Red Sox coverage with Hazel May in high definition and right here on Nessa. All kinds of things going on yeah, tonight. Busy day. Well, here's Randy Messinger, first guy out of the pen for the Giants tonight. He was picked up from the Marlins back on May 31st for Armando Benitez, making his sixth appearance for San Francisco, his 29th overall on the season. The pitch out, nothing doing. Chris still standing at first base. Leo Lugo scouted out to third and walk came around to score the fifth Red Sox run in the fourth inning. There goes Crisp the throw down and Coco steals second base. Number 13 on the season for Coco Crisp. 
Excellent jump and the throw is going to bounce to second base. No problem stealing that one. So Chris now with 13, the eight hitter, Lugo with 19. I'm trying to think of the last time the Red Sox had two players who are going to end up with probably 30 plus stolen bases. That's a great trivia question. Lugo takes the strike and it's two and one. Some dancing out there at second base. Messenger backs off. Inside. And it's three and one now to Lugo. I found it quite funny today, uh, Terry Francona. Last night we had another episode of Manny becoming a cutoff man in the outfield. <laughs> What happened is Coco turned around and he just saw a guy standing there. He thought it was the cutoff man. <laughs> well, it happened to be Manny. And of course, that's the second time we've seen that. And that one was not quite as drastic as the one with Johnny Damon. But I guess they've instructed Manny that any ball in the gap, get away. <laughs> <laughs> Terry said he appreciated his effort. <laughs> Omar Fiscal <laughs> throws to first to retire Lugo, but Crisp is on to third. I think we do we have both of them, Russ? Now this is the best one. Johnny David with a great cutoff by Manny <laughs> as he dives to his left. <laughs> and last night, almost the same thing. Chris gets up and he sees a guy standing. It's Manny. <laughs> Back to the ball again. <laughs> so they instructed Manny that any ball in the gap now, just run the other way. Run to the corner. Well, that, that, Coco looking up, that had to be alarming. I'll tell you what, that first one, that, that Johnny Dave, I could watch that a thousand times a day and laugh <laughs> only because it's Manny. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's probably the best catch he made all it, year. It was the greatest play he made all season. I mean, you know, sometimes outfielders don't throw well, but you really don't need your left fielder cutting stuff off. <laughs> Sox run 90 feet away with two outs here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Who fouls it off to the left? And a nice night tonight for J.D. Drew. Hideki Okajima is up earlier than we're used to. And pretty well rested down there, both he and Papelbon. Tavares so has gone the first six tonight. As Drew grounds it foul outside of first. Dunkin Donuts is in its eighth year of hosting local youth groups and charitable organizations in the Dunkin Dugout a special seating section here at Fenway Park thousands of children have had the opportunity to catch a Red Sox home game thanks to Dunkin Donuts. These guys are having a good time out there. Drew grounds it. Out of the reach of Durham into right center from third comes Crisp and the good night continues for J.D. Drew. Well, you know, we go back to last night. J.D. Drew with the bases loaded hits an absolute rocket, but the shortstop is right there to make the play on him. Now that's that's a ball that ball hit very well. Well, it's carried over into tonight. He drops the base hit in against a good curveball, another curveball that he drives over the head of Dave Roberts, another curveball this time. And Durham, I thought, was going to knock this down, but it gets under his glove. So he's got three hits in the ball game, been on four times. And boy, the offense has come from the top two guys in the Red Sox lineup. Well, Pedroia takes ball one. But you know, like that, that swing last night, even though it, ends, it turns into an out and you desperately need a hit, sometimes a swing like that is the one that gets you going. Outside 2 and 0. Oh. Zito is charged with that run tonight. The run that scores in this inning is unearned, so five and a third, five hits 
Ends up giving up seven runs, six of them are earned. Walk four, struck out five. Time now for the Panasonic Plasma replay so you can catch this again in crisp, rich, detailed motion. And right in the first inning, Dustin Pedroia. The two run home run is third of the year. That was immediately following the Giants putting two on the board. Two and one the count. Three and one. Messenger has been unscored upon in 24 of 28 outings this year. He's allowed an inherited runner to score. He's one and one with a 2.66 ERA and 23 relief outings with the Florida Marlins. There goes Drew, and it's grounded to the vacated right side. Drew will just keep on going. He gets to third base on the fourth hit of the night for Dustin Pedroia. How about this combination tonight at the top of the Red Sox order? Yeah, that's where all the hits are, right at the top. Top two guys. And again, J.D. to do off. You see Durham covering second base, a wide open gap over there. Nobody covering between first and second, and Drew makes his way to third base. Not a hit and run with two outs, just a straight out steal, but a pitch that Pedroia could handle, and he finds that hole. Well, they're now seven for seven between Drew and Pedroia. Here's Willie Mopena, who has walked and struck out. How in the heck do I pick a top dog from those two guys tonight? Can you make them both? No, I can't. I can't do dogs. I can't do co dogs. No, I have to pick one. That's not going to be easy. Still got plenty of game left. There'd be another candidate right there, but you know the Red Sox offense has struggled so much to, to see the production from those two guys. Side Vizquel, the high hop, and the throw in plenty of time. Red Sox add another run. We've played six. It's seven two Boston. With Herculine, it's easy to roll on a truck bed liner. It won't chip, flake, or peel. Herculine is the only one with a textured rubber and polyurethane formula. Turn any truck bed to a tough, skid proof, rust resistant surface. Do it all yourself for less than 100 bucks. With Herculiner, the tough comes easy. Okay, you're getting the ATV, you're getting the motorcycle, and you're getting the personal watercraft. And once we get them detailed and cleaned, you can pick them up. Hey, perfect. Now, we have to discuss insurance. You know, it's smart to have insurance for everything you bought today. Don't worry, my buddy here, he helps me out. And he's always there for people. Don Sherrell to the sales board, please. Geico Power Sports. Let's ride. NASCAR fans, experience race day like never before with NASCAR Hot Pass, only on Direct TV. Get closer to the top NASCAR drivers as they battle for position in the race to the chase. Don't miss your chance to ride shotgun with this week's featured drivers. Order now for just two payments of $39.50. That's $20 off the full season price. NASCAR Hot Pass, exclusively on DirecTV. In the proud tradition of Irish warriors, the ultimate fighting championship invades Northern Ireland. Former UFC middleweight champion Rich Ace Franklin continues his quest back to the championship, but Yushin Okami on a six-fight win streak stands in his way. Also, Forrest Griffin is back and ready to go to war against the dangerous Hector Ramirez. The Ultimate Fighting Championship presents UFC 72 Victory, Saturday, June 16th from the Odyssey Arena in Belfast. Live on DirecTV Pay-Per-View. 
Top half of the seventh inning. It's seven to two. Red Sox on top as Tavares gets back on the mound for the Red Sox. He's about to throw his 90th pitch of the night. And he's dealing with Omar Vizquel, then Dave Roberts and Mark Sweeney. Vizquel trying to bunt his way on. Offers, and it's one and one. You know, Big Poppy's been thrown out of the game, but Little oh, Poppy okay. right here um, is ready to hit. Hey, uh... <laughs> I will do. You gonna be a slugger? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Show them your bat. You're ready to hook. Stay. I will do do. I don't do him. Are you lefty or righty? Left or right? Left or right? <laughs> You're right. Oh, he hits from the right. That's D'Angelo Ortiz to right field. J.D. Drew. Makes the catch for the first out of the inning. Big Poppy out early. <laughs> put little Poppy in there. Let's we'll see what happens. Well, Dave Roberts has got a couple of hits tonight. His return to Fenway Park, a single in the first. Got it out in the third, a double in the fifth inning. Well, on another night in which Julian Tavares is matched up against another team's ace, he has done a very good job here tonight after giving up a couple runs in the first. He's at 93 pitches, season high at 107. His average right now, and it's fouled off one and one. Strike one and two. It's almost time for the seventh inning stretch brought to you by Jordan's Furniture, the largest selection of best brand names in furniture and mattresses in New England. Visit them in Reading, Native Gavon, and Nashua. It's not just a store, it's an experience. He's going to catch one of those before the end of the season. Not unless they change the commercial. They're running the same one every single night. He hasn't caught one yet. Oh, it's it's. I thought it was different every time. No, no? Sometimes he falls back in a chair and drops it. Okay. But everyone on the mattress has been uh, he boxed up. Roberts with the single in the first score and the Giants at the end of half an inning had the two nothing advantage and the Red Sox have scored seven unanswered runs tonight and powered by the top two hitters in their lineup Drew and Pedroia on a night that uh, David Ortiz was ejected from the game in the first right side Euclid down to the knees took it on the backhand and Tavares there two down. Well, you know Euclid coming up as a third baseman really plays first base a lot like he would third base you know he, he doesn't use that big glove as an advantage he, you know it's almost like he's using his regular third baseman glove gets down on his knee to make sure he's been very good at those flips uh, to the pitcher going in he's been outstanding defensively uh, at first base. Sometimes first base because they have that logic glove, a little bit lazy with their, you know, in their positioning and getting down on the ball. That hasn't happened to Euclidus. Two down for Mark Sweeney. I wouldn't say lazy is the right word that you use. I, I say that because you have the bigger glove, sometimes your fundamentals aren't as good as they should be because you have that little longer glove to be able to make a play. Euclidus still plays over there like he's. You know, playing down at third base, gets in the proper position for ground balls, good footwork.
Well, the footwork is the thing that he was talking about the most when he made the adjustment from third to first. Yeah, and that's really what he's talking about there is, you know, making adjustments around the bag on throws from infielders. Also, getting that footwork. Now, something's wrong with, uh, with uh, Tavares. There's no question about that. After that pitch there, you could clearly see some type of limp. So, you know, we don't know if it's his knee or his ankle, but something is definitely bothering him. See what he covered first, too. Yeah, yeah. Watch after this last pitch and watch it buckle. Right there. See how he tries to get yeah. back up on it? So something's bothering him. Getting back to Euclid at first base, you know, taking throws from infielders, but also making pivots to throw to second base on ground balls for 3 6 3 double plays. You know, all that, that's the kind of footwork he's talking about uh, getting used to. Be in a position for cutoffs. To left field, Manny Shallow as always will make the running catch in the back end. Another one, two, three inning for Tavares with seventh inning stretch time, seven two Red Sox time for a sports desk update with Hazelman. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Big news out of Causeway Street. The Bruins have relieved head coach Dave Lewis of his duties after just one season at the helm. We'll tell you what GM Peter Chiarelli had to say about the move and who could possibly be in line as a replacement. That's tonight on Sports Desk, presented by FWM, home of Frank Webb's Bass Centers. I'll see you all immediately following post-game coverage. Back to Fenway after this short break in the action. This might look like any other sofa, but it's not. Wouldn't you like to be able to change the look of your sofa from stripes to solids? A look for you and a look for the kids. A sofa for summer and a sofa for winter. Here's how it works. You pick two different fabrics. We'll have one upholstered onto your new sofa. The other fabric becomes a beautiful slipcover, custom tailored for that perfect fit. So now you have two looks for the price of one. At Jordan's, it's not just a sofa. It's a sofa sofa. <laughs> Hey fans, what better time than the seventh inning stretch to enjoy a cold, delicious honeydew iced coffee? Yep, it's icy, cold, and delicious. So stop by any of our 150 honeydew donut shops and get one today. And while you're at it, try one of our four fantastic new breakfast wraps. Oh yeah, you'll love them. Check out these and other tasty treats at honeydewtv.com and enjoy the local flavor. Oh! Hey pal, that was a strike. I wanted to add something new to our relationship, but I was afraid to bring it up. Then a close friend turned us on to KiaMatch.com, and in just minutes, we found the perfect companion for both of us. The Kia Sportage. I felt so safe. And with 28 miles per gallon, we could just go forever. Find your match at KiaMatch.com or visit your New England Kia retailers. Well, join Nesson on Father's Day this Sunday at 1 o'clock as Olympia Sports presents the Boston Globe pregame show with Tom Karen and Dennis Eckersley. They'll preview Tim Wakefield's thought in the series finale against the Giants. Plus, you'll see the Mike FM top plays of the week from around the majors. It's all Sunday afternoon at 1 in high definition, and it's on Nesson. Well, Manny Ramirez once again very very shallow in left field and this time he is able to take a base hit away from Sweeney the backhanded play losing his cap but not the do rag and you can see Tavares rushing Manny in to make that play and that'll be it for Julian as he kind of tips his cap to the fans on the way off uh, as his night will be complete another good effort by Tavares. Remember just a year ago they were booing Tavares here at Fenway yep. Park because he was in the bullpen and he was the guy that they'd go to every time they got in trouble they needed somebody to give innings he was tired he was burned out. He got a chance to start at the end of the season he pitched well and now doing a great job as a number five starter. Well, Manny going to lead it off here against Randy Messenger back out on the mound. Red Sox on top seven to two. 
There is 0 for 3, but picked up an RBI tonight. Now 35 on the season. And there is Euclid and Lowell. Strike for Messenger. Zito tonight, five and a third, gave up all seven runs. The Red Sox have. Came in at six and six individually on the season. No and two to Ramirez. Play beginning in 1997, first ever visit for the Giants. They met just once in interleague play. Giants took two out of three from the Red Sox back at AT&T Park. Well, you know, we saw one of the best games pitched against the Red Sox yeah. in that series. Jason Smith. Yeah. Wow. He was nasty that day. The only win in that series for the Red Sox, Mike Timlin, earned the lone victory in that series in relief. June 18th of 2004. It's funny how certain pitching performances kind of stand out. You know, you don't forget them, and that's one that I'll never forget against the Red Sox. Is that a one hitter? I think it, I believe it was. Yeah, he was ugly that day. It's him the only win in that series. Back in 2004, only time these two teams had. That since Italy started. Becky Okajima had been warming last inning and be ready to go in the eighth. Two and two to Ramirez. Well, now the Giants appearing here this week are the only National League team who has not played at Fenway Park since interleague play has started. The Chicago Cubs. Well, so the Red Sox went to Wrigley Field. But uh, the Cubs have not yet been to Fenway. Full count to Manny Ramirez. Chicago Cubs in second place in that Central Division, five and a half back. Five games under 500. Ball four and Ramirez down to first base. Lead runner on for the Red Sox. As the Red Sox begin their longest road trip of the season on Monday, Super Size Unite with Red Sox Monster Monday. Let TC, Jerry, Tina, and the rest of the Nets and crew prepare you for the monster nine game road trip. The big stars and big stories live at 5 30. So Manny aboard at first base with a leadoff walk here in the seventh inning. Lucas is sold for three tonight. He was grounded out twice and popped up. Where are we going to be on Monster Monday? Oh, Atlanta. Atlanta. We're we'll down in Atlanta. Remind me, Don, I got a call for a runner car. That's right. <laughs> it's fouled off to the right. I was hoping we would be in a limousine now that you're present. Well, that's true. It could yeah. be. That's right. That bulletproof uh, limousine provided by the Secret Service. So that's true. That might have to travel. I have access to uh, Red Sox one now too, which right. is pretty good. A few perks with this job. <laughs> I'm just hoping to ride your coattails. The strike and it's one and two. Sox with seven hits tonight. All the hits for the top two hitters in the order. Drew with three. Pedroia with four. Zuclus lines it foul. Before I forget, I'd like to wish a happy birthday to Dr. Gill, the Red Sox team physician, uh, enjoying a, a birthday today. And a 
I found out about it at the health club this morning. Ooh. One of his neighbors works out there. And she wanted me to remind everybody that it's Dr. Gill's birthday. Down the right field line, back and out of play. On the ground. Foul. Nice pick down there, down uh, in foul territory. I mean, perfect. You got the glove, you're in the first row, you've got a great chance, and he made a nice play. The ball was scorched by Euclid. They should be on Sox appeal. I think they're already together, though. It's not foul outside of third. Looks like it's still the Mets on top of the Yankees tonight, two nothing in the seventh. Last time we uh, checked, Clemens had seven strikeouts in that game. The Yankees have not been able to score. Outside, two and two now to Euclid. I think he had seven Ks in his first outing, didn't he? I think he did, yeah. Jack Tashner up in the pen. And Justin tells he's got eight punch outs now. The Yankees still have not scored that game. Top of the eighth. On deck. Ramirez has walked to begin things here in the bottom of the seventh inning. All three in a full count. Euclid strikes out. So the Metro comes back to get him. It's been an 0 for 4 night for Kevin Euclid. A lot of curveballs to Kevin Euclid in that at bat and finally puts him away on one. Well, Don, the last time I can mention it's your last chance. If you want to come to the game on Sunday against the Giants and take advantage of Tom Werner's four personal seats, Red Sox Nation members will be picked after the ball game tonight. You can still have time to join Red Sox Nation and have a chance to win those seats for Sunday. You will find the results tomorrow morning on the RedSox.com or the Reverend Report, and they will uh, be contacting you and telling you where to pick up your seats on Sunday. So good luck. That is the final chance. Still have time to sign up. Ramirez at first base, walk to begin the inning. Euclid strikes out. Kind of 2 0 now to Mike Lowell. Right side, 3 0. Jason Veritek waits on deck. Well, the Red Sox in the last 10 games and scored 27 runs, the second fewest of any major league squad in that span. Diamondbacks have only scored 24 runs in the last 10 games. And tonight, the Red Sox breaking out with seven runs so far. As Lowell fouls it off, full count. And a tough night in the first loss of the season for Josh Beckett. I think he uh, 
explained it very well after the game. Lack of uh, command in the strike zone last night for Josh Beckett with his pitches. Never really had a feel for his curveball in that game. A few mistakes with his fastball. And he's off as this one is chopped to short. Raskell with one play, it's at first. Ramirez now at second with two down in the inning. Stay tuned after the game for WB Mason Extra Innings and Granite City Electric Extra Innings Extra with Sean Karen and Dennis Eckersley. You'll get X breakdown on tonight's pitching matchup between Julian Tavares and Barry Zito, plus highlights of Roger Clemens and the Yankees as they take on the Mets. It's all right after the game in high depth on Nesson. Two down. Manny Ramirez at scoring position at second base. And here's Jason Veritek. He was old for three tonight. He's grounded out twice and struck out swinging. And the Red Sox had won 11 series in a row against National League teams. We're losing the series to Colorado two games out of three. It's their first. Uh, Series defeat against the National League team since 2005, June 10th through the 12th against the Cubs. So it's been a long time. Check down 0 and 2. Omar Vizquel, former teammates, yeah. the Cleveland Indians. Three full count now to Veritek. Yesterday came into the game last inning with one out, one on. He allowed Crisp to score. Got out of the sixth. Lead off walk this inning to Manny, who now stands at second base. He's got two down in the inning. Veritek lifts the fly ball to left field. Randy Wynn. And the out that ends the seventh inning. A 7-2 Red Sox lead. has the greatest summer thrills just 90 minutes from back bay get soaked in hurricane harbor new england's largest water park share your kids excitement at the starburst thursday night concert series featuring neo and jesse mccartney and explore two all new kids areas with your little ones act now and save 15 dollars with a coupon from select wendy's pay only 34.99 six flags new england you are here Oh, jumping jacks. Ah, uh, cardio. Yeah, get my heart rate up, then I'm gonna lift. I'm more of a yoga guy myself. Well, our prices are lower, but you can't let yourself go, right? Yep, I'm a low-priced fitness nut. You need a spotter? Sure. Be right back. All right, I'll be here, waiting. 
Stop and Shop's healthy and most popular pet products at new low prices every day so you can get everything your pet needs at the one place you've always liked to shop. Stop and Shop. things are made these days, it's just plain wrong. Not the new 99 cent buffalo crispy chicken sandwich. With its fiery taste, it's built just right. That's right. Back at Fenway where this game summary is brought to you by local Lincoln Mercury dealers. Tough start to the night for the Red Sox. David Ortiz rejected from the game after arguing balls and strikes with home plate umpire Tony Randazzo. He threw his equipment and he ran him from the game. The first inning that also featured for the Red Sox a two run home run for Dustin Pedroia. His third home run of the year. And the Red Sox tied the score two to two. It's a pretty good defense tonight from Julian Tavares. And the bowling ball roll to first base. And got him out of a jam, got out of a few jams tonight. As Tavares went the first seven innings, giving him six hits, two runs, walked two, struck out three, hands the baseball off to Hideki Okajima. And well rested the last time he worked was at Arizona around the ninth. He picked up the win in that game, going two innings, one walk and one strikeout for Okajima, his 29th appearance, 29 strikeouts in 31 and two thirds. And opponents hitting 155. It'll be Randy Wynn, Barry Bonds, and Ray Durham here in the eighth. Randy Wynn has grounded out. He has doubled and grounded back to the mound. Kojima matched his season high with two scoreless innings on Saturday at Arizona to pick up his second win of the season. He's allowed just one run in seven innings in the last five games. He's the second best ERA among qualifying American League relievers at 1.14. Just behind Toronto's Casey Jansen, 1.02. Led opponents to just a 155 batting average, which is good for seventh lowest among American League relievers. And has worked more than one inning in each of his last four outings. And as he sends it down the right field line, does win over is Drew, and he reaches to make the grab. J.D. Drew with a little room to work with in the foul ground grabs it from number one. Oh, that's a tough play too because he's got to cover a lot of ground and he's getting very close to the stands. And it never broke stride. He takes a peek, stops, and makes the catch. Nice play by Drew. Nice job by the fans too to kind of back out of the way. Okajima appreciates the effort. One down. Been a very good night for J.D. Drew all the way around. And every time Bonds has come to the plate, the flash bulbs going off here at Fenway Park. Tonight popped out to second base in the first, walked intentionally in the third, and they grounded out to second base in the sixth. It's been a quiet night, all but the long fly ball that was ruled foul down the right field line. You know, Charlie Relliford, a ball that just was wide of the pole. Thought he had the home run. Lions at this time in the right field for a base hit. 
Drew gathers it on a hop, but it's a one-out single for Barry Bonds. Let's check back in with Tina Servasio. Don, Hideki Okajima has a very elaborate warm-up routine. He uses a stick that he brought with him from Japan. He holds it in his left hand for one inning and goes through his entire pitching motion, replicating his arm delivery. Then for another entire inning, he uses it in a ping-pong motion. This is all to warm up the rotator cuff. This stick also has a rounded end, so he'll use it and jam it into parts in his shoulders and his arms and pressure points to stimulate blood flow. Now, obviously, look at his ERA. Okajima has been fantastic this season, so the other relievers are thinking, hey, this guy must be onto something. So they've grabbed the stick, and some of them have started using it in their warm-ups and you know what the way the Pens been pitching the season it must be the stick yeah that's different that's for sure so that's what Papel Pond yes. had down there so let me get this straight you what do you do first you go through your pitching motion so whether you're a lefty okay okay the pitching yeah, motion the pitching then you, motion then you, for an inning then you practice ping pong then the ping pong motion it gets the whole rotator cuff warmed up and loosened up ready to go and the blood flow comes then the blood flow and you have to jam it and press it into pressure points in your arms and your legs get stimulates the blood flow wow. and, and then he's then he actually then he goes and starts throwing after all of that that's a lot of stuff a lot of stuff and you know what he also actually it sometimes takes a huge softball and jams it into his hand to get his okie dokie grip ready as well. Durham lifts one out towards center field. Crisp is there. And there's two down in the inning. They see a lot of pitches who do throw yeah. that split fingered fastball, take an oversized baseball or a softball just to try to keep those fingers, you know, split as much as they possibly can. And that's a pitch that he really came up with uh, in spring training. He didn't have that pitch in Japan he was pretty much fastball curveball changeup and they fiddled with it they gave him a little split and it's been very effective for him. Seen Jose Contreras before his starts go to that big softball yes. spread out those yep. fingers. Yep. And two down. Angie Molina. I think with Barry Bonds at first base. Swing and a miss for Molina. That's, and it's 0 and 2. Yep, that's the okie dokie right there. The splitter that uh, I guess was nicknamed by Gary Tuck, the bullpen coach. You see the split grip and the result the ball diving down and away from Molina. And Jim Molina, of course, the oldest of three Molina brothers, all catchers in the major leagues. That's amazing. Jose Molina, of course, with the Angels still, where Benji was originally, and Yadio. The St. Louis Cardinals up over the mound. It's Chop Lugo plays it to second base for the force out that ends the top of the eighth. Seven two Red Sox lead after seven and a half. If you want to put yourself in the truck with a massive dose of horsepower, the truck named Tow Vehicle of the Year, then put yourself in the all new Tundra. And during Toyota's summer sales event, you could put yourself in a big V8 powered Tundra for $289 a month for 36 months and $19.99 due at signing, or with cash back up to $3,000. Toyota's summer sales event ends soon. Put yourself in a Tundra now, and you could save. Things we've learned that we hardly ever use. How to tie a barrel knot. The periodic table of elements. The Macarena. How about something we can actually use? Like the fact that a recent test shows Diet Pepsi has more cola taste than Diet Coke. That's information you can use two or three times a day. Diet Pepsi has more cola taste. Try a refreshing Diet Pepsi today. Now available at Cumberland Farms. Here's what consumers are saying about the Ford Fusion on Yahoo Autos, an independent research site. Love it, love it, love it. I have plenty of headroom. Both teenagers can fit in the back seat. Nice sounding stereo, along with an auxiliary adapter for my MP3. I'd buy this car again and again. 
Yahoo Auto's users gave the Ford Fusion a higher overall rating than the top two imports in its class. Take the Ford Challenge. See why Fusion is the better choice. Visit your Ford dealer or go to FordChallenge.com. Stay tuned after the game for W.B. Mason Extra Innings with Tom Karen and Dennis Eckersley. You'll get the complete postgame reaction from this series opener, including Terry Francona's postgame press conference, plus all the highlights from around the majors on this Friday night, including Roger Clemens facing the Mets in the Bronx. It's all right after the game in high definition on Nesson. 7-2, Red Sox on top, bottom of the eighth. And a new pitcher on now for San Francisco. As Jack Tashner as it lined in the left field by Coco Chris not waiting around over his Randy win and Chris will be held to a single Tashner had retired the last 15 batters that he had faced but uh, up there swinging at the first pitch was Chris well, he's actually held the opposition to a 179 average that is the lowest among all the relievers uh, on the Giants see the numbers on the season 18 strikeouts for him in 19 innings but also 11 walks it's the First hit tonight for someone other than J.D. Drew or Dustin Pedroia, who had had the first seven hits between them tonight that the Red Sox had all night. That is amazing. The one-two punch. So lead runner on here in the eighth, who's Julio Lugo. Take strike one from Tashner. It's going to be a huge inning for the top dog, uh, Don. They're coming up. Drew then Pedroia. JD with three hits, three RBIs. Oh and two now to Lugo. And then Donnelly up in the Red Sox pen. Two pitch to Lugo. Hopped up, should get back into the seats. Giants bullpen ranks third in the National League with a 3.67 earned run average. Filling only the San Diego Padres at 2.22 and the Dodgers at 3.39. Inside one and two. The San Francisco bullpen has thrown the least amount of innings in the National League. 169 innings coming into tonight. The White Sox are the leaders in the majors, 160 and a third innings. And San Francisco tops in that category in the National League. Two and two now to Lugo. Leadoff single for Coco Crisp. The Red Sox on top seven to two as they bat here in the bottom of the eighth. Full count. Had been 0 and 2. Randy Messenger ended up going in the inning and two thirds of relief for Barry Zito tonight. Allowed two hits and no runs. He allowed an inherited runner to score. Walked one, struck out one. And Jack Tashner becomes the second reliever out of the Giants' pen. And he walks Julio Lugo. First two have reached here in the eighth. It's the sixth walk tonight allowed by Giants pitching. 
For every Red Sox game that goes into extra innings, the Sox get a save. CVS Pharmacy will donate $500 to Children's Hospital. CVS Pharmacy is the official pharmacy of the Boston Red Sox. So first and second, nobody out. And here's J.D. Drew, who's had a great night. And after being hit by a pitch in the first, he singled, doubled, and singled again. And in the process tonight, picking up three RBIs. Now 28 on the season. And after going 0 for 5 in his first go around in the leadoff spot for the Red Sox last night, tonight has been much better. He's been 0 for 11 on the homestand before this great night tonight. It's down 0 and 2 this time. Austin Pedroy has had a great night. Four hits, three runs knocked in, including a home run. Drew drives it out towards deep center field. Roberts headed back to make the catch, takes him onto the track. As tagging at second base and moving to third is Chris Lugo back to the bag at first, but now with one down. First time the Giants have been able to retire J.D. Drew tonight. And that ball hit pretty well by J.D. Drew, almost to the warning track in center field. So one away first and third for Dustin Pedroia. And if Pedroia gets a hit here this could be the decider plus the fact you know I'm a little bit uh, on the side of middle infielders. Particularly second baseman. Drew has made a, a fine defensive play out there which has to come into play. First four hit performance for a rookie player for the Red Sox since 2001. When Shea Hillenbrand had a four hit game on April 29th of 2001. Did it against the Kansas City Royals. Shea Hillenbrand was on this San Francisco Giants team a year ago after leaving the Toronto Blue Jays. Still 0 and 2. The hits tonight, a home run in the first, the two run shot, which at the time tied the game 2 2. And the infield hit in the third, a single in the fourth inning. I'm going to pick up another RBI in that single in the fourth, and then another single to right in the sixth, a 4 for 4 night. Ashford has been ahead of most. He is ahead here, nothing in two. But he's only gotten one out. Drives it towards left center field. This is a gapper in the fifth hit of the night for Dustin Pedroia. It plates crisp. And all the way around from first base is Lugo. Two runs in and a 9-2 Red Sox lead. What a night for the rookie second baseman Dustin Pedroia. Well, that locks it up. There's no question about it. Five for five. He has five runs batted in, three singles, a home run, and a double as he finds that left field gap. Is that an 0-2 pitch? I think so. Oh, way too much a home plate. 0 oh, 2 there. Well, Molina called for the fastball win. Uh, he did not get it in, and Pedroia takes advantage of it. A 
Remo Pena tonight has walked, struck out, grounded out. Pedroia came into the game with 16 runs batted in. Make it 21 now. This one gets away from Molina. Pedroia to third base. Field brought in with the one out, the man now at third base. Well, pitch getting Pedroia to third base. There's still just one out of the inning. Ball three, three and one. Ramirez waits on deck. Red Sox batting here in the last half of the eighth. They've added two more. They lead it nine to two. Pena chops it to short. Vizquel will not come home with it. It'll go to first base. And the Red Sox get another run. On top now, ten to two. Pena on the RBI and the ground out to short. And the Red Sox have scored three times here in the eighth. Stay tuned after the game for Granite City Electric X Rings X with John Karen and Dennis Eckersley. You'll get the manager's assessment of this series opener with Terry's take, with Tina Sebastio as part of our clubhouse reaction, plus a preview of game two of this series as Dice Game at Suzaka takes on the Giants tomorrow afternoon. It's all after the game in high definition, and it's only on Nesson. Manny Ramirez batting with two outs, and the base is now empty. Justin Pedroia, what a night. Five hits and five RBIs. And one of those hits, a two run shot from the first. Brendan Donald is still warming in the Red Sox pen. Looks like he'll be coming on for the ninth inning, an inning that will feature the bottom third of the Giants' order: Feliz, Sherholtz, and Vizquel. Waits on deck and a quiet night tonight for Euclid at least offensively a couple of nice plays defensively but Kevin Ole for four in the game tonight. Ball four to Manny. Second time he's walked tonight. Second walk of the inning allowed by Jack Tashman. I mentioned kind of a high total of walks of a few innings for him out of the bullpen. He does have the strikeouts but also a lot of walks and well, that's something you don't want out of any pitcher but especially coming out of the bullpen. Kierkinski going to pinch run for Manny Ramirez who comes out of the game. Nicholas takes strike one. Now Joel Pinheiro has gotten up in the pen very quickly. Fire right now. Kind of strange, isn't yeah. it? Because Donley have been throwing. Donley has not worked since uh, Arizona. Back on the tenth, Pinero just a couple of days ago against Colorado. So you wonder if uh, because of the lead, Tito's made a change here. But after warming up all that time, you would think Donley would be called upon. He looked kind of frustrated too. We had him yeah. on camera. He just kind of had walked off at that point. Don't know if there's an injury involved, but uh, very bizarre. 
He was warming last inning, warming during this inning. And now it's Pinheiro who's also all of a sudden down there firing quickly to get ready. Lucas almost turned into that. Now Pinheiro wouldn't be getting throwing and that's for no. sure. He just pitched a couple of days ago. And he's uh, quickened it up like he's coming in the ball game. Ball four and Euclid's down to first base. Back to back walks. Three in the inning for Tashner. And here comes Dave Rigetti. Boston Red Sox baseball and Nesson is brought to you by 1408 in theaters everywhere Friday, June 22nd. Acura. Verizon. And by LP Weatherbest. Well, pitching coach Dave Rigetti out to talk to Jack Tashner. They're trying to get the final out here in the bottom of the eighth. It's now 10 to 2. Red Sox on top. Tashner's been tagged for three runs so far. Steve Klein, the left hander, is up in the pen. Lowell, well, the eighth man to bat here in the eighth inning. Right tonight is struck out walked and scored struck out again and then rounded out to shortstop last time up. Hensky at second Euclid at first. Lowell takes strike one. Back of first and run down by Mark Sweeney makes the grab that ends the inning. The Red Sox score three times and take a 10 2 lead into the ninth. Killian's Irish Red is brewed from slow roasted, caramelized malts. Take our time to brew it. Please take your time to enjoy it. You're not dreaming. McDonald's double quarter pounder with cheese is the real thing. Twice the beefy, cheesy goodness. Are you the cable guy? Actually, I'm a Verizon Fios tech. I bring fiber optics right to your door on three different spectrums of light. You got your 1310, your 1490, and the 1550. The light is so clean, it's plus 20 dB hot. It's true qualm. Verizon Fios, the most advanced fiber optic network straight to your home. It's highly refined. It's imported by the barrel. And it's another thing you shouldn't guzzle while driving. Now Dodge goes the distance with our most fuel-efficient lineup ever, like Charger with 28 highway miles per gallon. Caliber with 32 highway miles per gallon. And the all-new Avenger SE with 30 highway miles per gallon. Maximize your miles with our most fuel-efficient line of vehicles ever. Now get 0% financing plus $500 bonus cash on Charger and Avenger. Boston Red Sox baseball in Nesson is brought to you by New England Ford dealers. Sovereign Bank, the official bank of the Red Sox cable network. Honda. Bacardi. Plasso Vitamin Water. Killian's. And by Southwest Airlines. Well, it is a 10 to 2 lead now for the Red Sox. New left fielder with Eric Kinski running for Manny Ramirez last inning. 
Eric takes over in left field defensively. And a new pitcher for Boston as we move to the top half of the ninth inning, Joel Pinheiro. Well, Pinheiro making his 24th appearance. As we mentioned, uh, he worked a couple of nights ago against Colorado. Two innings in that game, allowing three hits and three earned runs. He did have three strikeouts. 26 in the third innings, 31 hits allowed by Pinheiro. Bonus inning 284. Donnelly had been up in the seventh, again in the eighth. And just as the inning was wrapping up, they had Pinheiro all of a sudden jump up and get ready. But Jerry, that's got to be really tough for Donnelly in that situation. But you know, you almost feel like he has worked because he threw so many pitches in the bullpen. It's not like they don't use him at all. I mean, he threw a lot of pitches out there. Yeah, and he's the guy that uh, has been off a long time. Uh, maybe thinking ahead a game tomorrow with Donnelly is a guy that you would bring in in a close game uh, late. But uh, he's worked back to back uh, uh, performances before. Like he was a little, little upset about it, and you know, after he'd been worn up for a couple of innings, that changed as soon as the Red Sox picked up the three in the eighth. Feliz with a swing and a miss finds himself down one and two. It's been an old for three night for the Giants' third baseman. Found out a couple of popouts. Hideki Okajima worked the eighth inning, gave up a hit, no runs, no walks, and did not strike anybody out. After a very nice performance tonight from Julian Tavares, he gave the Red Sox seven innings, six hits, two runs. He walked two and struck out three. It was an intentional walk to Barry Bonds back in the third, but a very quiet night. For Barry Bonds' first night in Boston. Two is popped up around the bag at second as Pedroia heads out to shallow center for the first out of the ninth inning. Well, this pitch sequence is brought to you by Commonwealth Health Connected. Cubby of bases connect to health, and it's the JB Drew at bat in the fourth inning. A three to two ball game at the time. Drew taking a fastball down and away. Gets a changeup that he pulls foul. That big curveball, a check swing. Check swing again on another curveball. Fastball inside, then the breaking ball that he hits over the head of Dave Roberts to drive in two runs. So uh, Drew's been on base all night long, and that kind of set the table for Pedroia, who's also been on base all night long. But a good, tough, a long at bat against a tough left handed pitcher there for JD Drew. And there's the offense tonight, those two guys. One down for Nate Scherholtz. And he fouls it off. He's 0 for 3, struck out, and has grounded out twice. Well, tomorrow will be uh, Dice K. Matsuzaka, who's 7 and 5 with a 4.52 ERA against right hander Matt Kane, who is 2 and 6 with a 3.31 earned run average. This game will be on Fox. We'll be back with you on Sunday for Tim Wakefield against Matt Morris matchup. The game time, 2 o'clock here from Fenway on Sunday. And then the Red Sox will head out on the road for the three city tour week. They'll be looking to get back to the 500 mark individually going into that outing at six and seven and fresh off a very good outing against the Colorado Rockies. And he's the only guy that can keep the Rockies quiet in that series. Ball one to Sherholtz and it's one and two. To right field, Drew coming in, but it's going to be in front of him for a base hit. A one out single for Sherholtz. Get down on the count, but able to get a base hit. Pretty nice hitting there, is it? Most lefties are good low ball hitters. That's a pretty good curveball from Joel Pinheiro. It is down, it's ankle high, and he just golfs that ball uh, into right field for the base hit. Actually, I'm not so sure about that anymore. Yes, definitely left handers are low ball hitters. Most of them are better, but a lot of good low ball right handed hitters in baseball now, too. Omar Vizquel, 0 for 3 from the number 9 spot.
Chop towards Pedroia at second. To second for one. On to first base. A double play. And the Red Sox win. And they do have a lot of runs tonight. Ten runs. And they take the first game of this three-game series against the San Francisco Giants coming away with a 10-2 victory tonight at Fenway. And what night for J.D. Drew and Dustin Pedroia at the top of the Red Sox order. As between them, they have eight hits and a total of eight RBIs.